Chapter 1161 Throwing Stones at Someone While They're Down Translator Born to be Long Chen stood at the front of the battlefield, constantly gathering sea demon corpses. He also controlled the rhythm of the battle. As soon as people started to find it taxing, he would unleash a supreme attack. Rainbow-colored light flashed through the battlefield. There were so many sea demons that Cloud was also getting full. Now it was picking its prey. It picked out the armored sea demons to eat. According to Men Qi, these armored sea demons had more energy, and tasted better to Cloud. Previously, it ate everything because there was nothing to eat. Now there was a literal tide of sea demons, and it was picking out the armored sea demons. Its body was rapidly growing, and its aura was growing more terrifying. It had already reached the late 8th rank, but just at the 8th rank, its aura caused Menki's 9th rank magical beasts to feel terror. They didn't dare to approach it. Cloud had its own mysterious inheritance, and it had its own way to recover its innate deficiency. Furthermore, its growth was very stable. There was no sign of a shaky foundation at all. Now, Menki didn't even need to look after Cloud. She allowed it to devour things as it willed. The most terrifying innate talent of Cloud was its bottomless stomach. It was like its own world. It could be used to store things, and it could also be used to kill. No matter how powerful the ninth rank sea demon, once it was in its stomach, they would be turned to bits. This was the terror of an ancient species. On the other hand, Wild was different from Cloud. He wasn't picky about his food and ate whatever was in front of him. Furthermore, he was impervious to poison. He didn't even refuse the sea demons that unleashed intense toxic fumes. Wild had hundreds of peak storage rings on him, and each of them had a space of 300 miles. However, the majority of them were filled even though Wild had been crazily eating while fighting. Seeing Wild just casually toss sea demons into his mouth caused the disciples' eyes to almost pop out. Just who was the sea demon? Was there no normal person in the Dragonblood Legion? Long Chen was busy gathering sea demons' corpses. There were so many of them that he couldn't even keep up. The battle was extremely intense. The Dragonblood Legion was still fine, but casualties had started to appear in other places. Dragonblood Legion, hold the line. The other factions slowly retreat and shrink your defensive line, ordered Long Chen. Even though he felt like he had originally already overestimated the scale of the Beast Tide, he hadn't thought it would be this terrifying. After unleashing Starfall three consecutive times, he no longer dared to continue. Starfall was powerful, but he had to maintain his energy to handle the unexpected. This was something Long Chen had formed a habit of. No matter what time it was, he kept things in reserve for the unpredictable. Otherwise, he'd have long since died. Everyone continued to retreat. They had already retreated to just 300 miles in front of Zhuanshan City, and the original 2 million miles defensive line had shrunk to just less than 10,000 miles. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples grew more concentrated strengthening their defense. But the sea demons were also overflowing. Long Chen ordered Wild, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, Tang Wanur, and the others to leave the defensive line and charge into the midst of the sea demon army. All of Men Qi's houseboats had been summoned and had formed a huge army alongside Wang's hen's insects. She had to control the magical beasts and couldn't go out like the others. Long Chen led the Dragonblood Legion's elites to the very front. They formed the first line. While Hua Shiyu, Su Mo, Mu Kingsuan, Gao Xianyang, Hu Gishan, Fan Song, and the other top experts formed the second line. After going through their two obstructions, the number of sea demons that reached the rest of the disciples dropped by over a half. The pressure immediately lightened. Long Chen unleashed huge saber images with Blood Rinker, killing the sea demons en masse. Blood filled the air. He had also summoned Lai Long and Huo Long. They helped him annihilate the sea demon army. Right now, there were too many sea demons. Needons littered the ground, but no one had time to gather them. When the corpses piled into mountains and restricted their lines of sight, he would clean up the battlefield quickly before continuing to kill. Blood covered the ground as the battle continued. After fighting for a whole day and night, they were shocked to find that the sea demon army still didn't show any signs of stopping. Long Chen's expression sank. He had miscalculated. This time, the scale of the beast tide had surpassed any of its predecessors in recorded history. Furthermore, because of the heaven-suppressing magic sect sneak attack, they hadn't dared to go out hunting. That was why they hadn't been able to predict the strength of the beast tide. If they had been constantly hunting sea demons during this time, the pressure during the beast tide would be much less. Now they were enduring an endless assault of the sea demon army. As Long Chen crazily killed, 
A delighted expression suddenly appeared on his face. He shouted, Brothers, the beast tide is about to end. The martial heaven sea ring's tide is starting to retreat. Long Chen saw that the water level was starting to drop. That was a sign the beast tide would start weakening. This was the best news possible for the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples who were exhausted and had been injured all over. This huge battle had been taxing physically and mentally. Furthermore, seeing the occasional disciple beside them fall caused the mental pressure to increase even further. Hearing Long Chen, their morale surged and they were invigorated. The only faction that was still complete was the Dragonblood Legion. That was because they had a terrifying group of healers. The 50 rank 6 celestial healers kept a close watch over the Dragonblood Legion. As soon as someone was injured, they would immediately use a long-range healing art on them. Furthermore, they had large-scale recovery arts active at practically all times. The Dragonblood Legion had gone all out killing during this time, and while others were exhausted, they were still full of strength. Their combat power remained at their peak state. Ha ha ha, how lively. But your excitement is a bit too early. When the beast tide ends, so will your lives. Suddenly, a sneer rang out over the battlefield. A group of people appeared at the center of Zhuangshan city, behind their defensive lines. There were over a hundred thousand of them blocking the Zhuangshan Dao sect's path of retreat. The ones at the front were the heaven-suppressing magic sects Hans Henayu and the Horned Expert. Other than those two, there was another half-man half-bird. He was also an ancient race expert. He had a pair of wings and a bird's beak. Long Chen, in the eastern wasteland. Did you once think such a day would come for you when you butchered my ancient race's experts? Sneered the half-man half-bird hybrid. His eagle-like eyes glared at Long Chen. Everyone, don't panic. Keep fighting. I'll handle it. Just as their arrival caused the Zhuangshan Dao sect to grow panicked, Long Chen calmed them. The Dragonblood Legion was still going all out, blocking the majority of the sea demons. Now the other disciples recovered and focused on fighting once more. Even in the midst of despair, Long Chen's presence comforted them. In most of their hearts, he was like a god, more trustworthy than anyone else. The ancient races? It seems that after the scar heals, you'll forget your lesson. No matter how many times I beat you up, you never stop coming to provoke me. Long Chen turned to the birdman and clasped his hands behind his back. With his back turned, those people didn't see Long Chen's hands form some strange gestures. In the middle of the fighting, Guo Ran immediately understood what he was saying. He stealthily took out a jade tablet and activated a mark on it. A wave of energy silently entered deep into the ground. Long Chen, you can't escape this time. Not only will you die, but the rest will follow you as well. Don't struggle and just let the sea demons eat you. Why bother suffering through pain? Sneered Hans Henayu. Hans Henayu, aren't you afraid the Dao sect will take its vengeance on you if you attack us so openly? Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This was the point he was most suspicious of. He couldn't figure out just what the heaven-suppressing magic sect was relying on to publicly attack the Zhuangshan Dao sect vengeance? What a joke. We should be the ones taking vengeance on your Zhuangshan Dao sect. The Zhuangshan Dao sect betrayed our trust. We signed a contract for joint training. But during the training, your side viciously massacred disciples of my heaven-suppressing magic sect. The proof is right here. So do you still want to argue? Hans Henayu smiled and took out a photographic jade. It recorded a scene of Gao Zian Yang and Hans Henayu signing a contract, but the exact contents weren't clear. Long Chen, Gao Zian Yang and Hu Gishan have suddenly disappeared. Just at this moment, Long Chen received a message from Fan Song. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This wasn't normal. How could Gao Zian Yang have been colluding with Hans Henayu from the start? Ah, so that's what it was. After failing your sneak attack and taking such heavy losses, you decided to make up for it by going to Gao Zian Yang. You only signed this contract after your sneak attack failed. Long Chen suddenly laughed. Fan Song had said that Gao Zian Yang had disappeared before returning. He had to have signed this thing at that time. Gao Zian Yang could count as one of the leading representatives of the mission this time. If he signed a contract for a friendly exchange of pointers, and the date was listed as before that sneak attack occurred, the heaven-suppressing magic sect would have an excuse to attack the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Long Chen, quibbling has no meaning now. You and Gao Zian Yang despicably killed tens of thousands of my heaven-suppressing magic sect's elites. Even if we kill you all today, we'd still be standing on the side of reason. Furthermore, don't think that anyone will come and save you. Kings cannot enter this place, or if they broke the Martial Heaven Alliance's rules, they and all of you would be killed. 
I already can't wait to see your expression of despair and terror. Ha ha ha, laughed Hans Henayu. Sorry, I never have times of terror or despair, so you won't be able to see it. However, I'll quickly be able to see the scene of you running like a dog again. Guo ran. What are you still waiting for? Send our guests their gift, sneered Long Chen. Chapter 1162 Peak Starfall Translator Born to be explosions rocked the land as all of Zhuanshan city exploded. Countless fragments and dust devoured the place Hans Henayu and the others had been. Bastards. Hans Henayu, the horned expert, and the bird man roared at the same time. This sudden attack had come without any warning. Although they had moved to protect their fellow disciples, the explosions ended up killing over half of them. In the end, less than 50,000 of their disciples remained. And this was after Hans Henayu had spread his metal energy over as many of the surrounding disciples as he could. That metal armor was the only reason they had survived. However, those disciples that survived were sent flying by the explosion. It was unknown where they all went. In any case, golden figures flashed through the air for an instant like a beautiful firework. But the power of this firework was truly terrifying. Over 80,000 foundation forging experts disappeared without a trace. Hans Henayu, the horned man, and the bird man were all infuriated, killing intent exploding out of them. They had never expected there to be such a terrifying mechanism installed beneath Zhuanshan city. In truth, this mechanism hadn't been for them. To be safe, Long Chen had established it as the final trap in case they couldn't defeat Turing Sea Demon Army. It was just one extra trump card for the unexpected. Hans Henayu and the others had quite the luck. They had stopped right above the bombs. It made Long Chen feel like they had wanted to be blown up. If he didn't oblige them, it would be a letdown for their confident stances. All of you can die. The three of them roared and summoned their heavenly Deo manifestations. They were all rank 7 celestials, and their auras caused the wind and clouds to change color. You can die instead. Guo ran. There's no need to hold back. Detonate them all. Long Chen smiled and shot at the three of them. With Long Chen's order, Guo Ran activated all the remaining runes on the jade plate. The ground exploded. This was a minefield Guo Ran had made. When he had first created the bombs, he found that he had made them too powerful. They were far more terrifying than his exploding arrows. Other than the ones he had installed under Zhuanshan City, there had been some left over and he had ended up installing them all around the battlefield. Each one of them required Guo Ran's specific spiritual fluctuations to activate or even if you broke them apart, they wouldn't explode. Of course, that was why Long Chen dared to place them there. The bombs were detonated one by one. Each one of them blew open a mass of sea demons. Hundreds of them detonated at the same time, instantly cleaning up all the sea demons on the battlefield. Guo Ran suddenly grabbed Song Mingyuan and gave him some directions, having him circulate his earth energy from a distance to pull out his remaining bombs. Then Wild would toss them amongst the sea demons that were still coming while Guo Ran detonated them one by one. At this time, everyone's expressions were green. Bomb after bomb was pulled out from under their feet. Thinking about what would happen if they had detonated below them made them shiver. After seeing their power, their scalps turned numb. If one of them had accidentally exploded, they would have been done for. With the assistance of Guo Ran's bombs, the sea demon's number sharply dropped. Just at this time, the golden figures that had been blown away now returned to attack. Men Qi. Tang Wan'er, Wild, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Hua Xiaoyu, and the others left the sea demons to the other disciples. They went to attack the heaven-suppressing magic sects people and the ancient race experts. At this moment, the importance of healing disciples revealed itself. They had continued such a high-intensity battle for so long, but the Dragonblood Legion's warriors were still in their optimal condition. Boom. The land suddenly trembled as Long Chen exchanged blows with Hans Henayu, the horned expert and the bird man. Long Chen's divine ring shook heaven and earth. Four stars revolved in his eyes, and green scales covered his body. A blood-colored saber image tore through the sky. All the disciples looked over to see Long Chen send the three of them flying in one attack. Boss is mighty. The dragon blood legion erupted into heaven shaking cheers. In just the first exchange, Long Chen was using his full power. He clearly wanted to end the battle as soon as possible. Just this first exchange gave the Zhuanshan Deo sect side a boost in morale. Their previous fear was swept away, and they slaughtered the sea demons. As fewer and fewer sea demons appeared, more and more of the Zhuanshan Deo sect's disciples began attacking the heaven-suppressing magic sect and ancient races experts. The people who had come this time were the elites of their respective powers. 
They had hundreds of rank 6 celestials, and the rest were basically all rank 5. At first, both sides were able to fight equally, but the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples quickly took the advantage. More and more of them were joining in, pressuring the opponents greatly. After Cloud killed a mass of sea demons, Menki called it back over to join their side. Its addition immediately caused panic amongst their enemies. Cloud was just too fast. They would only see a huge rainbow-colored light before being killed. It was impossible to even see its body. As they fought intensely, Long Chen was fighting against three rank 7 celestials. They were like stars colliding against each other. He had fought against two of them before, but the bird man who had come from the ancient races was extremely powerful. He had iron feathers covering his body and a black spear in his hands. It was a powerful king item, and he was actually using some kind of secret art to unleash its power. Each attack shook the void and caused the stars above to shudder. Hans Henayu and the Horned Man had both suffered greatly at Long Chen's hands, and so they didn't dare to be careless. All of them were fighting all out. Boom. Suddenly, after an especially fierce collision, Long Chen shot back like a shooting star. The three of them had combined their attacks. Just as Long Chen was shooting back, the space behind him tore open, and a sword pierced at his back, shocking even Hans Henayu and the others. They had no idea there had been another person hiding in the midst of their battle. I've been waiting for you. Long Chen suddenly unleashed a burst of energy he had been accumulating for a long time. A fourth of his immortal platforms sent all their energy into 36 acupuncture points. Split the heavens for. Long Chen slashed his saber out, unleashing a huge saber image that seemed to fill the world. Rumbling filled the air as if the world couldn't bear its power. The master of the sword was filled with shock. He was naturally the Blood Kill Hall's assassin who had had seven of his split bodies destroyed by Long Chen. Blood Kill 19. He was shocked to find that time and space around him had frozen. He could only watch as Long Chen's saber slashed down. It was like a heavenly saber capable of cutting apart the river of stars had been used on a housefly. Blood Kill 19 was instantly blown to bits, and the saber image smashed into the ground. The ground split open, and a huge ditch formed, reaching all the way to within the sea. Water exploded into the air mixed with lava, causing bursts of steam to erupt. All the sound in the world had been severed by this saber. People were only able to hear their own heartbeats. This terrifying saber should not have existed in this world. It caused the heavens, gods, and devils to quiver. Not good. Hans Henayu, the horned expert, and the bird man's expression suddenly changed. Chanting filled the air as if gods were murmuring together. They felt a terrifying aura lock them down. That feeling was as though a devil god from hell had set its gaze on them. A fierce sensation of death filled their hearts, making them feel like they had been dunked in ice water. Starfall. A cry that seemed to come from above the nine heavens rang out. A three-meter globe fell from the sky at the three of them. It was a blindingly dazzling globe that was like a beautiful star that had reached the end of its lifespan and was about to blossom with its most brilliant light. Both of you help me. Metal Earth Energy. Yin Yang Displace. Hans Henayu slammed his hands on the ground, with him at the core. All the land within 3,000 miles turned golden yellow, but that still wasn't enough. The horned man and the bird man both placed their hands on Hans Henayu's back, pouring their blood key and heavenly Dao energy into his body. Hans Henayu wasn't the strongest, but in terms of defense, he was number one. The two of them were both well aware of Hans Henayu's power, so they poured all their energy into him without reserve. The ground suddenly transformed becoming a huge golden lotus. The three of them stood at its core, with its petals forming defenses around them. All the vitality within this land was instantly sucked dry. All the vegetation withered. Once that life energy was sucked dry, countless runes appeared on the outside of the lotus. It formed a large light barrier. Boom. Just at this moment, Long Chen's star fall arrived and smashed into the golden lotus. Chapter 1163 No Mercy. Killing Heavenly Geniuses Translator. Born to be Long Chen's star fall instantly smashed through the outer runic layers of the lotus. That seemingly exceptionally sturdy defense didn't have the slightest use. Star fall then struck the actual lotus. A huge hole appeared in it and star fall continued toward its core. Boom. The huge lotus exploded. Its fragments flying through the air. A wave of earth shrouded the clouds and shot into the distance. Even Menki and the others who were far into the distance and prepared to go and help Long Chen were struck by the wave of earth. Li Qi. Quick. Great earth and protection. Song Mingguan and Li Qi both circulated their earth energy, and the ground split open. Li Qi shouted, Everyone, get in. Don't vainly think of running away, or you'll be killed. 
Li Qishao caused the disciples who were preparing to flee to immediately rush over. When the final person entered, the land closed, turning their vision dark. Boom. The two of them were almost unable to bear the power. Blood spurted from their mouths, shocking the disciples. A few hundred warriors of the Dragonblood Legion went over to give them energy. Those warriors were also Earth Attribute experts. Although their energy was not as pure as theirs, it finally had a use. With their help, Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had it much easier. But the pressure continued to rise until finally, the space they were in exploded and they were thrown into the air. Just as everyone thought they were about to die from the shock waves, they found that it was over. The world had returned to normal. The dust had yet to scatter from the air. However, as experts, their divine sense immediately spread into the surroundings. They were horrified to find that the terrain had completely deformed. There was still lava erupting all over the place. Explosive sounds rang out in the distance, signifying that some people were still fighting intensely. They all flew over to see Long Chen was chasing after three people. Hans Henayu, the horned expert, and the bird man were fleeing miserably. They were covered in blood and their auras were extremely weak. Even their manifestations had disappeared. They just managed to see Long Chen unleash a shocking saber attack, killing the horned expert from the heaven suppressing magic sect. Nothing was more shocking than seeing a rank 7 celestial killed in front of them. After killing one, Long Chen shot after the other two like lightning. Long Chen, don't kill me. I was only baited over by the heaven suppressing magic sect. I have a special status. I'm. The bird man saw that there was no hope of fleeing and began to cry out. In reality, this wasn't related to the ancient races at all even though Long Chen had once killed a rank 5 celestial from the ancient races from the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had a good relationship with the ancient races. The ancient race experts envied the Zhuanshan Dao sect's magical arts, and they were allowed to learn them as their disciples. And so the birdman had been enticed by the heaven suppressing magic sect's bait, and adding on the conflicts between Long Chen and the ancient races in the eastern wasteland. He had decided to come. His side had undergone large-scale hunting in the sea. Hence, when the beast tide erupted, their defensive region hadn't come under attack from many sea demons. So he had just left them to a portion of his people before coming here. But who could have thought that rather than being able to kill Long Chen on reasonable grounds to get back the eastern wasteland's ancient race's honor, he would end up falling into such a miserable state? The star fall backed by the Nirvana scripture could destroy heaven and earth. The three of them had worked together to summon the strongest possible defense but had still almost died. Even their heavenly Deo energy had been exhausted, so they had no energy to heal. They could only watch as they were hunted down, and so he tried using his status to stay Long Chen's hand. But Long Chen's reply was split the heavens. Without any power to dodge, the bird man died with endless regret and remorse. Furthermore, Long Chen's attack contained his thunder force, making it so even his soul couldn't escape. The second rank 7 celestial was killed. Adding on blood kill 19, he had killed three rank 7 celestials. If they didn't personally see it, no one would have dared to believe it. Now, the only rank 7 celestial remaining of the original four was Hans Henayu. He was covered in blood and his body was cracked all over as if it might shatter at any moment. If it hadn't been for his metal and earth energy giving him monstrous defense, he would have long since died. But even though he had survived, he was heavily injured and his spiritual yuan was essentially exhausted. His current combat power was less than a tenth of his norm. Even an ordinary dragonblood warrior could kill him. Hans Henayu stopped running because he knew he couldn't run. Long Chen's power had far surpassed his expectations. Although Long Chen was also panting and his aura was starting to decline, he could still easily kill Hans Henayu, who didn't have the slightest chance of running. Long Chen lazily rested Bloodrinker on his shoulder. He took stock of his remaining energy reserves and found he had less than a tenth of his spiritual yuan remaining. His expectations were on point. When using the Nirvana scripture with Starfall, its power would be boosted by over ten times. At the same time, it was much more exhausting. Using the fourth form of Split the Heavens to kill Blood Kill 19 and then using Starfall at its peak had exhausted almost all his spiritual yuan. His immortal platforms were about to stop circulating, and his four key seas were almost empty. But at least in comparison to Hans Henayu, he was much better off. At the very least, killing Hans Henayu would not be much more difficult than crushing an ant. Long Chen simply stared at him coldly. I don't believe you dare to kill me. Hans Henayu also stared back icily. Long Chen smiled contemptuously. What baddest words. I have a brother who would say that there was someone who also once said that. 
but the grass on his grave is over three meters tall now. In the distance, everyone looked oddly at Guo Ran. Guo Ran turned red. It was true he liked that kind of way of replying when encountering posers. However, I will tell you that there were once people who said that to me, but they didn't even have the fortune of having a grave. Long Chen shook his head. Guo Ran couldn't help being filled with admiration. As expected, his boss could truly take him flying to new heights. This was a truly domineering, confident, meaningful, skillful, evolving style of posing. That was because it was the truth. HMPH, if you kill me, you won't survive either. I am someone from the Grand Han Ancient Nation's Imperial family. If you kill me, the Imperial Court will be infuriated, and not even the Zhuanshan Dao sect will be able to protect you. My Grand Han's power isn't something you can imagine. Hans Henayu looked at Long Chen without the slightest fear. Wow, that sounds scary. I think I'll try it. Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit affected by his words. He simply slashed Bloodrinker down. Buzz. Just as Bloodrinker was about to reach Hans Henayu's head, a ray of light shot out of his forehead, blocking Long Chen's saber. At the same time, an image appeared behind Hans Henayu. Within the image was an elder in violet gold robes and a crown on his head. He sternly shouted, Who are you? Why would you kill my Grand Han's imperial family's descendant? That figure caused Long Chen to jump, but he quickly realized it was just a projection. It was only able to scare people, because he killed my brothers. Looking at this imposing figure, Long Chen's heart shook. This person was probably someone on the same level as the Zuan master. Do you know that what you're doing is a provocation to my Grand Han imperial family demanded the elder? Long Chen immediately sneered. Provocation? I don't like that word. Don't try to act like you're some supreme existence in front of me. Your descendants killing my brothers is reasonable. But when I get revenge for my brothers it's a provocation? Are you an idiot? He had heard of the Grand Han ancient nation. Back then, Ma Zingkong had also once tried using its name to intimidate the Zuan master. It had to be a terrifying existence. Originally, if the Grand Han expert wished to peacefully settle things, perhaps there would have been the slightest chance Long Chen could have spared Hans Henayu's life. After all, Hans Henayu had never personally killed disciples of the Zhuanshan Dao sect but instead, this Grand Han expert acted like he was number one beneath the heavens, as if others were just ants. Long Chen's fury immediately soared. Brat, you are courting death. Which sect are you from? Which family roared the elder? Fuck off, old idiot. I can't believe I've wasted so many words on you. I'm also getting idiotic. Buzz. Long Chen ignored him and slashed Bloodrinker on the barrier once more causing it to shudder and rapidly dim. Imperial uncle, this person is one of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. You must get vengeance for your child. Hans Henayu already knew his fate was sealed. The Grand Han was unable to intimidate Long Chen, and so he immediately cried out Long Chen's identity. Boom. Finally, the barrier could no longer endure and Long Chen's saber stabbed through Hans Henayu's forehead. Its immense power directly blew apart his body, exterminating his soul along with him. Good. Little brat, so it's the Zhuanshan Dao sect just wait to have your sect washed with blood. Those who provoke my Grand Han all have families killed to ninth bloodline the elder roared as the image faded away. Fuck off. Long Chen didn't wait for the image to fade on its own. He slashed his saber, cutting it off. Four powerful celestials had been killed. All the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples were speechless, unable to say a word. Long Chen was too domineering. Even the Zhuanshan Dao sect didn't dare to provoke the Grand Han, but Long Chen did. Ha ha ha, Long Chen. Ah, Long Chen, you really exceeded all my estimations. You were actually able to kill four rank seven celestials on your own. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Suddenly, a burst of laughter rang out, causing everyone's expressions to change. Chapter 1164 Falling into Desperate Straits Translator Born to Benevaloon.com Gao Zianiang who Gishin. No one had expected that the two people to disappear from the battlefield would reappear now. Furthermore, their expressions clearly showed the malice in their hearts. Gao Zianiang, Hu Gishin, after fleeing in battle, you still have the face to return, roared Fan Song. All the people who had been following Gao Zianiang were infuriated. This kind of conduct gravely hurt their hearts. They could have permitted any of Gao Zianiang's flaws, but the only thing they couldn't endure was betrayal. The other experts also looked at them furiously and with disdain, but the two of them didn't seem to care in the slightest. Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, and the others flew to Long Chen's side. Long Chen was in a weak state now, and they were worried about a sneak attack. 
The healing disciples immediately unleashed healing art after healing art. Long Chen's exhausted body recovered slightly, and he was invigorated a great deal. However, he had still overused his spiritual yuan, and even his immortal platforms were entering a stagnant state. His current power was still not even a tenth as high as normal. Long Chen narrowed his eyes as he looked at the two of them. Their fearless expressions caused him to also feel anger. Betrayal was the most painful feeling, because that could give a group a fatal blow. Have the two of you returned to face trial? Asked Long Chen as he recovered through the healing disciples. Over 200,000 disciples of the Zhuanshan Dao sect surrounded the two of them. After this great battle, almost a third of the original 300,000 disciples that had come to this region had died. Gao Xianiang and Hu Gishan didn't even look at those people. Gao Xianiang disdainfully said, Trial? What qualifications do you have to put me on trial? We are no longer disciples of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. We are. The two of them tore off their disciple robes at the same time, revealing blood red robes underneath, with a sinister fiendish face on their chests. Corrupt path. Everyone's pupils shrank. Weren't those robes only worn by the corrupt path's disciples? How could the two of them have put them on? Did they not want their lives anymore? Ha ha ha. Correct. We are no longer disciples of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, nor are we disciples of the righteous path. We've joined the corrupt path, laughed Gao Xianiang. Bastards, you not only betrayed the Dao sect, but you're also betraying the righteous path, roared the disciples. From the conflicts between the two paths throughout history, many of these disciples' ancestors had died to the corrupt path. Practically everyone hated the corrupt path to the core. They wished they could tear them apart limb from limb. Seeing that the two of them had joined the corrupt path, countless people's eyes reddened, and killing intent exploded. Are you angry? Ha ha ha. Keep getting angrier. You can bring your anger to the other world. Today, we made great contributions and will receive the corrupt path's full grooming. We don't have to eat leftovers in the Zhuanshan Dao sect any longer. All of you will die, while we will become top experts of the corrupt path. Even your friends and family will continue dying to our hands. But don't worry, that way. You'll all be in that world together and won't get lonely, laughed Gao Xianiang. Kill them. Gao Xianiang's arrogance ignited all their fury, and countless disciples charged at the two of them. Suddenly, the sky rumbled. Everyone hastily looked up to see that at some unknown point, the world had become covered in a layer of black mist. Because it was night, no one had sensed the change in the sky. Now, they noticed that the black mist was comprised of fiendish runes. Do you know what we were doing before? Yes. We were activating this grand formation. Everything within a hundred thousand miles has been sealed off. You're just birds in a cage now. Righteous path idiots. Have fun in your endless remorse. Gao Xianiang laughed crazily. One after another, people began to descend from the sky. They were all wearing the corrupt path's robes, and the fiendish images on their chests were even clearer, looking like real living fiends. Their auras were also extremely terrifying, making it so others couldn't breathe. All the disciples' expressions changed. These are experts on the level of the Hall Masters. Long Chen's pupil shrank upon seeing these people. There were a total of eight Hall Master level experts. As soon as they appeared, they extended their hands, unleashing black runes that further strengthened the black mist in the sky. Not good. They're isolating their key so that the outside world can't sense them. Men Qi's expression changed. This region had a special grand formation that prevented experts above the king level from coming in. If any experts surpassing that level entered, it would immediately be sensed and activate an alarm. However, Gao Xianiang and Hu Gishan had already established a counter formation that allowed these people to enter, and these experts immediately strengthened the formation. Buzz. Suddenly, over a hundred new figures entered. They were all wearing the corrupt path's robes, but Long Chen saw two familiar faces. Hall Master, Vice Hall Master, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples let out startled cries. These two were the law enforcement halls Luo Fan and his assistant, the vice hall master. Other than those two, the rest were all the corrupt path's powerful experts. A quick count put them at 108 king level experts and 16 hall master level experts. They now surrounded all Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples, and looking at their positions, it seemed they were in a strange formation. Do you know, Long Chen? I really hate you to the core. Luo Fan stood outside their formation. Glaring at Long Chen and clenching his teeth, Long Chen nodded. I know, there's no need to say so much, as that would be bad for your future. Since you've joined the corrupt path, you should say some more words to suck up. The more you display your hatred for me, 
the more it shows you were unwilling to leave the post you had for so many years. That would make your new masters doubt you and maybe they'll even silently eliminate you. Luo Fan's expression changed. Long Chen's words struck him like a hammer in his heart. He had truly thrown his lot in with the corrupt path. Because he no longer saw any hope in the Zhuanshan Dao sect his old ally had been killed. His old opponent had been promoted to Vice Zuan Master. While the law enforcement hall's power had fractured, he had already lost all his authority. One of his Vice Hall Masters had once advised him to join the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect after all. The Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect had the Pill Tower's support. And so he would have greater prospects there than in the Zhuanshan Dao Sect Luo Fan had been unwilling this whole time. Until finally, he had agreed to a plot with the Vice Hall Master's advice. This plot's goal was to kill Long Chen and the others. He had left behind a clone in the Zhuanshan Dao Sect to deceive others. While his true body and the Vice Hall Master secretly left the Dao Sect they had rushed over to the Eastern Sea. But as soon as he had arrived, his expression had completely changed. What had been waiting for him was not the Zhuanshan Dao Sect's disciples, but a mass of the Corrupt Path's disciples. The Vice Hall Master revealed his identity as one of the Corrupt Path's members. Luo Fan had been given two choices. He could cooperate, or he could be killed. In the end, he chose the former, because the Corrupt Path gave him a very generous promise. With the Corrupt Path's help, Luo Fan had, through the hands of his two trusted subordinates, Gao Zianiang and Hu Gishan, established a heaven-deceiving formation to block all their auras. The Righteous Path would not be able to sense them. Although Luo Fan appeared very mighty now, he actually had no confidence inside. After all, he had betrayed the Righteous Path. This was not his original intent, but he had been forced to. Now looking at Long Chen, he was naturally filled with fury. He felt like all of this was Long Chen's fault. And yet, Long Chen's words were also correct. The more he expressed his hatred for Long Chen, the more it expressed that he was resentful about his current position. That would make the corrupt path's experts feel like he didn't sincerely want to join the corrupt path. And just like Long Chen said, it was likely that after this matter was over, he would be killed. Not bad, not bad. Even in the face of death, you can still be so calm. Worthy of being first on the Eastern Wasteland's Corrupt Paths Must Kill list. Another black robed figure appeared in the sky. He had a black gold crown on his head. Heaven and earth rumbled with his voice. And a formless pressure descended that made everyone feel like their blood was about to stop circulating. All of them turned pale as paper. It was like this person could take their lives at any moment. An expert on the level of the Zuan Master? Haha. <laughs> I, Long Chen. I'm truly blessed to have such a supreme expert come and attack me, laughed Long Chen. This was definitely something worthy of pride. There was no way around that. Your fate is very strange, and based on the information received from the Eastern Wasteland, your karmic luck is heaven-defying. You somehow escaped the corrupt path's traps countless times. You've inflicted heavy losses on us time and time again. Previously, you kept hiding in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, making it so we couldn't do anything to you. But now you've finally come out. We're not going to be careless this time. This time, we're making sure to eliminate you, said that powerful expert. Ah, amazing. Let this junior praise you for your cautiousness. Long Chen gave him a thumbs up. Many thanks for your praise. It was precisely this cautiousness that allowed me to reach my current position. Others sneer at me for being overly cautious. But I've rarely suffered a loss in my life. So today, Long Chen, you definitely won't be able to get away. We sent out 8 soul transformation experts and 108 jade core experts. In truth, this isn't really overkill. Because you are all elites of the Zhuanshan Dao sect I needed this many people to form a grand formation to extract all your souls. By torturing your souls into resentful spirits, I can refine a precious soul vengeance bead. A soul vengeance bead refined from the souls of over 200,000 elite disciples will definitely be a top grade one. However, Long Chen. I can give you one chance to live, said the top corrupt expert. Oh, I'm this fortunate. Long Chen was a bit surprised. As long as you are willing to let me place the corrupt god's blood slave seal on you and you swear your loyalty to me, I can let you live. Chapter 1165 The Reincarnation Mirror Shows It's My Translator. Born to be then if I agree. Can you satisfy one request from me? Asked Long Chen suddenly. What request? Asked the corrupt path's top expert. The reason I'd be enslaved would be because of those four idiots. Can I kill them as revenge first? Long Chen pointed to Luo Fan, Hu Gishan, Gao Zianiang, and the Vice Hall Master. Their expressions all changed. 
Long Chen was actually this vicious? Long Chen, don't play such useless schemes with me. My patience is limited. So treasure this opportunity, said the corrupt expert coldly. It's not that I'm playing schemes with you. Moreover, I couldn't possibly outscheme old ghosts like you who have lived for countless years, but have not heard of a certain saying? Even the best plan from the wisest person can still be mistaken. Although you can count as a wise man, when it comes to intelligence and scheming, you're a far cry from a certain person. Long Chen shook his head. Buzz. An ancient mirror flew out of Long Chen's forehead. It immediately unleashed boundless light. Not good. It's the reincarnation mirror, cried Luo Fan. But it was too late. As soon as the reincarnation mirror appeared, Long Chen and all the other Zuan Chen Dao sect's disciples were protected by the light and disappeared from the corrupt path site. At the same time, a blazing ray of light pierced through the mist in the sky, breaking their formation. An ancient mirror had also appeared in the sky. It was like a fierce sun lighting up the entire world. Its power caused the heavens to shake as if the world couldn't bear its existence. Long Chen and the others appeared tens of thousands of miles away. All of the disciples were staring blankly, not knowing what had happened. The Zuan master had appeared at their original location. The reincarnation mirror behind him was constantly revolving, unleashing boundless light that enveloped all the corrupt path's experts. At the same time, Liu Kang and dozens of Hall Master level experts showed up in the air. Each one of them held a ray of light in their hands. This light was actually an ancient rune that formed a huge formation in the air. Originally, I thought this net would only catch a few small fish. I didn't expect such a large fish to swim in. Long Chen, well done. The Zuan master looked at the corrupt experts below. Even with his calm nature, he was excited. Long Chen bitterly smiled inside. This chis move of the Zuan masters was truly huge. And looking at the current state, it was like each step had been within his expectations. Before Long Chen had come to the Eastern Sea, the Zuan Master had given the reincarnation mirror's secondary mirror to Long Chen. It had the ability to connect to the primary mirror, and as soon as Long Chen was trapped, the Zuan Master had learned of it. In truth, the Zuan Master had known what would happen as soon as Luo Fan had left. Hence, he had left the Tower Department head in charge of the sect, and just in case, he had even brought the sect's divine item. Fortunately he had, or with a foe on his level present, it would be unknown who would win, and even if he could beat the peak corrupt expert, he wouldn't be able to kill him, but with the reincarnation mirror, all these people had become turtles trapped in a jar, they couldn't even run, the corrupt path side was absolutely shocked, under the radiance of the reincarnation mirror, they couldn't see anything outside, the Zuan master formed hand seals, and the reincarnation mirror began to rapidly revolve. A terrifying pressure caused the stars to shake, causing heaven and earth to violently tremble. At this time, the runes in Liu Kang and the others' hands grew blindingly bright as they poured their own energy into the formation. A-H-H-H. Miserable screams rang out from the corrupt path. Long Chen was shocked to find that within that blinding light, one figure after another was being sucked into the reincarnation mirror. The corrupt path's kings didn't even have a chance to resist, and they were all drawn in. The Hall Master level experts were only able to endure for a breath. Only the peak expert had black key erupt from his body and block the blazing light. But in front of the reincarnation mirror, everything he did was in vain. He lasted only a dozen breaths time before being sucked into the reincarnation mirror. The light faded, and the Zuan Master put away the reincarnation mirror. Liu Kang and the other side with relief. We got rich this time. These corrupt experts can be exchanged for thousands of years of resources for the Zuan Chen Dao sect. Liu Kang was extremely emotional. The Righteous Path had the Martial Heaven Alliance, and all the Righteous Sects would send a few tax payments each year. This tax had become a reward system. Each sect could get rewards from the Martial Heaven Alliance through killing experts from the Corrupt Path. The amount of the reward depended on the status and cultivation base of the slain Corrupt Experts. Originally, the Zuan Master thought that catching two Hall Master level experts would be pretty good. That was a rather large gain. He hadn't expected the corrupt path to have raised such a cautious expert who liked to do things personally. As a result, he had caught a large fish, and an extremely large one at that. Just this one fish could make the Zuan Chen Dao sect fat. Seeing that the corrupt experts had been put in order, the disciples cheered. The Zuan master was extremely happy, and he praised Long Chen. All this is thanks to you, Long Chen. The Zuan master couldn't help but feel emotional. Despite all his plans, there had still been many unexpected factors. If, in that critical moment at the end of the beast tide, Long Chen hadn't been able to handle the ancient races, 
the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect, and the Blood Kill Hall's attack, all his plans would have been wasted. Fortunately, Long Chen had given the Zuan Master a pleasant surprise and perfectly completed his plans. It's all thanks to the Zuan Master's flawless plan. Long Chen shook his head. When it came to scheming, he would never be able to catch up to the Zuan Master. This was something the Zuan Master had set into motion hundreds of years ago. Now it had fully ripened, and the only thing left had been to reap it. In comparison, the explosion of the Alchemy Pavilion was a single hair loss, while they had now gained a full bull. This investment was truly worthwhile. It was no wonder the Zuan Master had warned Long Chen so many times that he had to learn self-control. Although the Zuan Chen Dao sect had looked chaotic, everything had been within the Zuan Master's control. As for the Dragonblood Legion, although they looked well and strong, there were many things that were not within Long Chen's control. Suddenly, the Zuan Master waved a hand, and a figure appeared in front of everyone. It was Luo Fan. Zuan Master, spare my life. Disciple. Luo Fan suddenly knelt on the ground remorsefully. The Zuan Master shook his head. There's no need to say anything. I know everything about you. The one who should be saying sorry is me. I used you for my own needs. I used your selfish nature. I used your stubbornness. I used your inability to accept things. Everything about you had me in the background. As for your Vice Hall Master, I knew he was a spy from the corrupt path the minute he entered the Zuan Chen Dao sect. But I intentionally put him at your side. I acted like I didn't care about your fight with Liu Kang. I saw you getting arrogant, expanding the law enforcement hall's power, getting greedy for more, but I didn't once warn you. And so, I knew what would happen today, and the truth is, I used you. So you don't need to apologize for your mistakes. Zuan Master, Luo Fan stared at him blankly. Instead of killing him, the Zuan Master was admitting his own mistakes? I won't punish you. Leave and don't come back to the Zuan Chen Dao sect the land beneath the heavens is boundless, and you can go anywhere. However, due to the fact we were once from the same sect, let me tell you one thing, you're too selfish and not wise enough. If you don't learn how to reserve your character, then no matter what sect you end up in, you won't have a good ending. That's all I have to say, so do your best. Go. The Zuan Master waved his hand. Zuan Master. Disciple wishes to stay in the Zuan Chen Dao sect. Disciple will definitely change his ways. Beg Luo Fan. In this world, anything can be changed. But the hardest thing to change is a person's nature. It's not something that can be changed just because you say you will. Go. The Zuan Master shook his head. Novaloon.com in the end. Luo Fan kowtowed toward the Zuan Master three times and left dejectedly. Everyone was silent. Liu Kang couldn't help but sigh. Looking at the direction Luo Fan had gone. He asked, Zuan Master, why didn't you give him a chance to change his ways? I already gave him that chance. The things that Luo Fan has done selfishly over the past few years are enough for me to kill him. But after all, I was the one using him, and I'd feel guilty killing him. Don't think he looks like he's been enlightened of his ways now. It won't be long before his old character once more resurfaces. If he was kept in the Zuan Chen Dao sect, he would be a ticking bomb. If he could betray the sect once. He could betray it a second time, so he can't be left in the Dao sect as for what path he takes. That's his own decision, said the Zuan Master. Suddenly, the Zuan Master slammed his palm forward. Who's there? Li Xiangxuan. How brazen of you to plot to kill my heaven suppressing magic sect's disciples and even the ancient races. A tear in space appeared because of his palm, and a large group of people suddenly appeared. Ma Kong of the heaven suppressing magic sect appeared and beside him was an ancient race elder with a single horn on his head. His horn looked like the rank 7 celestial's horn from the heaven-suppressing magic sect Long Chen had killed, except this horn was a violet gold color and was shining with glaring light. Behind him were hundreds of experts. There were over 10 hall master level experts, and the rest were kings. The atmosphere instantly became hostile. The Zuan master coldly smiled. Ma Zing Kong, have you grown foolish with age? I'm clearer than anyone else on everything that happened, and there are all kinds of proof in my hands, including Gao Xianyang's life. A simple soul sark will reveal the truth. It will also expose your intention of killing my Zuan Chen Dao sect's disciples and colluding with the ancient races. So have you come here to cry after having your side slaughtered instead? The Zuan master didn't find it curious that Ma Zingkong and others would arrive. He knew that something as huge as using the reincarnation mirror would draw over people from the Martial Heaven Alliance. However, Ma Zingkong and the others had arrived first. Just as they stealthily approached in preparation of forming a formation, 
their plans were ruined by a wave of the Zuan master's hand. Chapter 1166 Experts Fight Translator Born to be although the beast tide was one of the best opportunities to temper their disciples, the sects all had a second line of defense. They definitely wouldn't allow the sea demons to slaughter the innocent commoners. Behind the primary defensive line was a second line. But if the primary defensive line composed of the disciples was not able to stop the sea demons and the second defensive line was used, the sect would lose its qualifications to defend that region. The heaven-suppressing magic sect and the ancient race expert had been waiting to hear news of the annihilation of the Zuanchen Dao sect's disciples. But what had awaited them was news of the annihilation of their own disciples. Hence, they had immediately rushed on over here. Ma Zing Kong, the reason I came here was just for you. Let's talk about justice, said the Zuan master coldly. You, you want to talk to me about justice, raged Ma Zing Kong, practically unable to believe his ears. Correct. You sent people to entice Gao Zian Yang in an attempt to kill all my Dao sect's disciples. Furthermore, the master behind the scenes was actually the corrupt path. I suspect that you've colluded with the corrupt path, said the Zuan master. Bullshit. How could I collude with the corrupt path? Ma Zing Kong was infuriated not even caring about his status and bursting into cursing. This infamy was not something he could let stand. Buzz. Just at this time, another group of people appeared. They wore gray robes with a special design on their chests. It was an immortal character. Alliance. This was the mark of the Martial Heaven Alliance. They did not belong to any sect, but were a power elected from all the Central Plains Righteous Path sects. They were in charge of the entire Righteous Path in the Central Plains. Only seven of them had come and the leader was only at the hall master level. But he still strictly shouted, Why have you all come here? Someone colluded with the corrupt path to kill my Zuanchen Dao sect's disciples. So I came here to counter them. I've captured many members of the corrupt path. But as for why the heaven-suppressing magic sect and ancient races would come here, you'd have to ask them, said the Zuan master lightly. Although the Martial Heaven Alliance's people didn't have powerful cultivation bases, they represented the Martial Heaven Alliance. The Zuan master had to personally reply, We, we, seeing the Martial Heaven Alliance's people looking at them, Ma Zing Kong didn't know how to reply. We were drawn over by the disturbance of the battle here. In comparison, the ancient race expert wasn't so intimidated. The ancient races only had a somewhat allied relationship with the Martial Heaven Alliance. They were not controlled by them. The ancient races had their own alliance, and it was neutral in the fight between the righteous and the corrupt path. But to get more profits, they split the mission of defending the sea. So they also had to follow a few of the rules of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Then since the beast tide has ended, everyone can come over to the Alliance headquarters. As you are all masters of your own sects, I don't dare to make any rash decisions. Come with me. The expert from the Martial Heaven Alliance also felt this matter was too big for him to handle. He just needed to report it. In truth, he didn't want to offend any of these people. Hold on a moment. Suddenly, a sharp cry rang out and a group of people rushed over. The Zuan master's eyes narrowed. These people were actually experts from Pill Tower, and one of them he recognized as the one who had caused trouble in the Zuanchen Dao sect being interrupted. The Martial Heaven Alliance's experts' expression changed, and he was just about to scold them when he saw they were from the Pill Tower. He swallowed his curses and said, Do you have any advice? Behind the Pill Tower was Pill Valley and they were also not within the scope of the Martial Heaven Alliance's administration. In fact, there were many things that the Martial Heaven Alliance needed Pill Valley's cooperation for, so he had no choice but to be a bit more courteous. I wouldn't dare to presume such a thing, but I have something huge I have to tell everyone. I rushed day and night just to report it. The elder of the Pill Tower looked at Long Chen. Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. He had a bad feeling. Just at this moment, Another elder appeared behind the Pill Tower's expert. He wore Daoist robes and his hair was rolled up into Daoist spawn. He looked like he possessed quite the transcendent manner. It's you. Long Chen and Hua Shiyu cried out at the same time. This elder was precisely the one from the Heavenly Fate Pavilion who had placed the sorcery in Hua Shiyu's body. I am Daoist Zuan Jizi, the master of the Heavenly Fate Pavilion within the Grand Han Ancient Nation. A few days ago. I was reading the stars and sensed great turmoil in the central plains. After a few calculations, I found that there is a heaven Caesar who has started to rise in revolt, bringing a calamity to all lives, said Zuan Jizi with a grand transcendent air. Long Chen was infuriated. 
This despicable bastard had actually chased him down here in order to frame him. Novaloon.com CM Heavenly Fate Island was an extremely powerful existence even in regard to the entire continent, although it wasn't as terrifying as Pill Valley. Due to their abilities to peer into the secret workings of fate, everyone had to be respectful to them, and no one dared to offend them. Who is this Heaven Caesar? Mo Zingkong seemed to suddenly comprehend something. It's this person. The murderous aura on his body is extremely heavy as a result of stealing heaven and earth's fortunes, taking the lives of others in order to raise his own cultivation base. He is a heaven Caesar. Zuan Jizi pointed to Long Chen. What nonsense. Long Chen is a disciple of my Zuan Chen Dao sect. He has many friends who he cares deeply about. How could he be one of those solitary heaven Caesars that are the bane of others' existence? Now, even the Zuan master was infuriated. This was clearly bullshit. He was clearer than anyone else about whether or not Long Chen was a heaven Caesar. The Zuan master didn't know why this person would want to frame Long Chen. He just assumed that Pill Tower was trying to make things hard on him and so they colluded with this person from the Heavenly Fate Pavilion. He didn't know that this was because Long Chen had gotten rid of Zuan Jizi's sorcery. Moreover, Long Chen had found out one of Zuan Jizi's secrets, and thus forced him to come here. HMPH, I am a disciple of Heavenly Fate Island's inheritance the master of my own heavenly fate pavilion. How could I randomly spout nonsense? Just how much do you think you know about heaven Caesars? Long Chen clearly is a variant amongst heaven Caesars. He simply has some kind of treasure that shields him from fate. Otherwise, how could someone who is not even a celestial possess such immense power? Sneered Zuan Jizi arrogantly. In reality, Zuan Jizi had been shielded from Hua Shiyu's fate, and when he had tried to read Long Chen's fate, he had almost lost his life. He had received a heavy backlash from the heavenly deos that had caused half his body to explode. It was only because he had reacted fast enough that he hadn't died. As soon as he had sensed the backlash, he had hidden his Yuan spirit. Long Chen brought him a sensation of grave terror and unease. He had started going through the people he had once placed some kind of sorcery on, and as a result, he had found Hua Shiyu. But Hua Shiyu's fate was still hidden from him. So he had begun to calculate the fates of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's other disciples. That was easier, and that was what had allowed him to find Long Chen's position. He had rushed straight toward the Eastern Sea. His goal was to completely eradicate Long Chen and Hua Shiyu. On the way, he had gathered quite a bit of information about Long Chen. He didn't dare to try reading Long Chen's fate again. So he began to try reading the fates of other people. That was how he ended up finding out that the Zhuanshan Dao sect had just had a conflict with the Pill Tower. At that time, he had come up with a plan to announce that Long Chen was a heaven Caesar and that he had powerful treasures on him. In order to remove a scourge from the heavens, he asked the Pill Tower to help, and in the process, conveniently get rich. Pill Tower naturally wouldn't refuse such a good thing. They could eliminate Long Chen and pressure the Zhuanshan Dao sect in one move. This didn't have the slightest drawback for them. In any case, they had Zuan Jizi to testify that Long Chen was a heaven Caesar. Even if he was falsely accused, they were just accomplices. When the time came, Long Chen would be dead, and all the blame would be pushed onto the Heavenly Fate Pavilion. This was completely beneficial to the Pill Tower. Even if the truth was revealed in the end, all they would have to do was announce that it was one of their random workers who had ended up believing Heavenly Fate Pavilion slander, by pushing all the blame onto the worker and killing them things would be easily settled. By saying this matter was all that person's fault and had nothing to do with the pill tower, they would be able to maintain their dignified position in the central plains. Do you see? Li Xiang Xuan, the master of divining Daoist Zuan Jizi can guarantee that Long Chen is a heaven Caesar. Do you have anything else left to say? We're going to capture Long Chen right now, and we'll see if you have the guts to become enemies with the entire world. Everyone from the Martial Heaven Alliance, you've also seen this. This matter is too big for you to handle. Ma Zingkong immediately stretched his hand out toward Long Chen. Ma Zingkong didn't recognize the collusion between Zhu and Jizi and the Pill Tower, but he knew one thing. Now he could openly kill Long Chen. The Zhu and Master sent out a palm, forcing Ma Zingkong back. He shouted, Don't deliberately slander others. I, Li Xiang Xuan, will use my own head to guarantee that Long Chen definitely is not a heaven Caesar. Vicious liars. Do you think that my Zhuanshan Dao sect is easy to bully? I want to see just who dares to touch a single hair on my disciple's head. Seeing the Zhuan master actually protect Long Chen, Zhuan Jizi roared. Li Xiang Xuan, you dare to harbor a heaven Caesar? What are you planning? 
by raising a future calamity. Do you think it will allow you to overturn the righteous path? Keep dreaming. Heaven Caesars always end up killing every person around them, and your conduct is throwing the entire righteous path into a horrible future. Don't waste words with him. Kill the Heaven Caesar, shouted the ancient race expert. He immediately attacked, his fist blazing like a sun. However, not one of the Zuanshan Deo sect's disciples felt the slightest bit of warmth. His fist filled all of heaven and earth, causing all the disciples to turn pale, let alone taking this fist. Just the shock waves would kill them hundreds of times over. At the same time as the ancient race expert took action, Ma Zingkong and the elder of the Pill Tower, as well as Zhu and Jizi, attacked. They were all experts on that level. Buzz. Suddenly, the reincarnation mirror appeared in the air. Even if the Zuan master was insufferably arrogant, he wouldn't dare to fight one against four. He directly summoned the reincarnation mirror, blasting the four of them with a ray of light. Boom. The four of them took out their own divine weapons to block the reincarnation mirror's light. Heaven and earth exploded with mass spatial twisting. Long Chen and the others suddenly found themselves thousands of miles away. But even at that place, space was constantly twisting. Fortunately, there was a layer of light protecting them. That was a barrier the Zuan master had made through the reincarnation mirror in order to protect them. We'll block the reincarnation mirror. Everyone else, go kill Long Chen. Kill those who block your path as well, shouted Ma Zingkong. The experts from the heaven suppressing magic sect, ancient races, and pill tower all charged toward the distant Zuanshan Deo sect's disciples. Chapter 1167 Unleashing the Fourth Form of Split the Heavens Translator Born to be protect the disciples. Kill the incoming enemies, Liu Kang shouted and flew out. A single hand unleashed a wave of light that killed several of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's kings. But he had only just started attacking when he was surrounded and blocked by six hall master level experts. They began a fierce fight. Liu Kang was originally just a hall master. Although he had used a life star bead to advance to the life star realm, his combat power was unable to fully match a true life star expert. Fighting one against six was his limit. The various hall masters also attacked. They all knew this wasn't the time to talk. This had to be settled through fighting, through putting their lives on the line. Fortunately, Liu Kang managed to stall six of the enemy's hall master level experts on his own. The other Deo sect's hall masters ended up in a one against one situation. The battlefield maintained a tentative balance. The hall master level experts were equally matched, but their opponents had four times the number of kings. In just the first moment, Several of the Deo sect's kings were killed. What should we do? Seeing this chaotic scene, the Martial Heaven Alliance's people didn't know what to do. They had never thought this group of people would start fighting here. There's no way around it. We have to go report it quickly. The leader also had no idea how to handle this. He couldn't deal with something on this level. So he could only go and get help from the higher ups. Long Chen took a deep breath. After the healing disciples' full efforts at restoration, he had recovered to about 30%. Holding Blood Drinker, he charged out of the reincarnation mirror's protective zone. As soon as he did, he felt space constantly twisting around him, making him extremely uncomfortable. Disciples with weaker cultivation bases would be ground to dust within this twisted space. Without the reincarnation mirror's protection, over half of the disciples would die within just a few breaths. Kill. Long Chen summoned his divine ring. Four stars revolved in his eyes and green scales covered his body. Long Chen, meet your death. Dozens of kings immediately went to attack Long Chen. One of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's kings raised his staff. But before he could even start his chanting, an azure light flew past, killing him. That was Cloud's attack. Men Qi stood on Cloud's back, and forming hand seals. Spiritual strength exploded out of her. A golden phoenix flew out. That was her soul item and it transformed into millions of flying swords that shot at the kings. Menki's spiritual barrage affected quite a few kings. They only realized the danger once her soul item reached them. By then, it was already too late. Her soul item pierced through their heads, exterminating their souls. Over a dozen kings were killed in one blow. Kill that girl, cried someone as he shot at Menki. Buzz. He had only just moved when sword light flashed. Another king was killed. Cut in two. The sword light had only just flashed when wind blades filled the air. They shot amongst the kings and then shockingly exploded. Miserable screams rang out as several people were killed. The others were almost blown to pulp. They're too strong. Stop holding back and activate your king items. King items could only be activated by those with a jade core. Activating them was one of a king's strongest moves. 
and it was also their last trump card. Activating a king item required an incredible amount of spiritual yuan. Even a king with their jade core could only activate a king item for one attack. Die. One of the kings activated his king item. His copper staff blazed with light, and he smashed it at Yu Zifeng. Space crumbled around the staff. A king item's power contained immense pressure that made it impossible to dodge. Boom. Just at this moment, a huge club smashed into the staff, releasing a heaven-shaking explosion. Wild took the king item's attack head on. Blood dripped out of his hand, but with his powerful physical body, he managed to block that terrifying attack. Instead, it was the attacking king that received a powerful backlash. Both his arms exploded. His own staff ended up smashing into his body, killing him. PFFT. One of the heaven-suppressing magic sect's kings had just blocked one of Gu Yang's attacks when a golden arrow pierced his defenses and killed him. Gu Ran was still within the light of the reincarnation mirror. He had taken out a crossbow and was using special armor-piercing arrows. Whenever he saw an opportunity, he would launch a sudden attack on the kings. As long as it was a good opportunity, the kings would be killed in one blow. Guo Ran mostly targeted the kings of the heaven suppressing magic sect once their defenses were broken. They were just trash. Their weak physical bodies were as fragile as a porcelain bottle. Only rank 6 celestials were able to fight within the powerful pressure outside. Rank 5 celestials would find themselves unable to move, and rank 4 celestials would very likely instantly die. They could only watch. Long Chen fought with his saber valiantly. He killed 7 kings in a row but his spiritual Yuan was almost exhausted. Tang Wan'er and the others were also stuck in a bitter battle. There were too many enemies. More and more of the Zhuanchen Dao sect's elders were dying. Suddenly, Long Chen saw two figures crash together. The two of them exploded at the same time, dying in mutual destruction. Elder Shah. One of them was precisely the taciturn, seemingly numb Elder Shah who had brought Long Chen and the others from the eastern wasteland. He had actually fallen here. Boss. Quick. Go support Sister Men Qi. Long Chen was in the midst of fighting three kings when he heard Guo Ran. He suddenly saw that Men Qi was entangled with four kings. Cloud was doing its best to strike back at them, and it was covered in blood. Danger surrounded them. Brat, do you know why we're not in a hurry to kill you? One of the heaven suppressing magic sect's kings that was fighting Long Chen smiled sinisterly. Long Chen's pupils shrank, and he suddenly thought of the problem. Their goal was to kill him. Once he was dead, everything would be resolved. But they didn't go all out to target him. That meant they didn't just want to kill him, but they wanted to use him as an excuse to kill all the Zhuanchen Dao sect's experts. Thanks for your reminder. To thank you, I will give you a painless death. A medicinal pill suddenly appeared in Long Chen's hand. He popped it into his mouth, and it instantly dissolved. A berserk energy exploded out of Long Chen's body. Suddenly, the roar of the dragon and tiger rang out of Long Chen's body. His pores were completely opened, and his body became covered in blood. The roar grew louder and louder as if an azure dragon and a white tiger were roaring above the nine heavens. Long Chen slashed his saber, and a terrifying saber image blew through the kings he was fighting despite their defenses. In a flash, Long Chen appeared beside Men Qi. He destroyed one of the king's runic defenses with a punch, and then another punch caused that king from the heaven suppressing magic sect to explode. The other three were sent flying by his saber. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and roared. A terrifying aura crashed against the sky. The divine ring behind Long Chen now had a faint image of an azure dragon and white tiger within it. In that instant, Long Chen's exhausted spiritual Yuan suddenly reached full capacity. What Long Chen had devoured was the dragon tiger heavenly explosion pill he had obtained in the immemorial path. This pill could instantly raise a person's power by several times. Even exhausted spiritual Yuan could be instantly restored by forcibly drawing energy from heaven and earth. Furthermore, the most terrifying thing about the Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill was that it raised a person's strength based on their latent talent. The more talented the person who consumed it was, the greater the power that would explode. If Long Chen had consumed the Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill back then, it wouldn't have had such a huge effect like this. Now. Even his skin had broken apart from the berserk energy exploding out of him. This power was something his physical body couldn't tolerate. It was like a dragon and a tiger were fiercely fighting within his body. His power was still crazily rising. At the same time, his immortal platforms were overloaded. Cracks had appeared on his body. His power had been raised to a level that even he couldn't bear. That showed just how terrifying his potential was. Currently, he was still unable to bear that power. Kill. 
a dragon and a tiger appeared in Long Chen's eyes. This was a sign that the dragon tiger heavenly explosion pill had reached its full effect. He shot toward one of the experts fighting Tang Wan'er. With a single slash of his saber, that person instantly exploded. Long Chen's power had been forcibly raised to the point that even kings were killed in one blow. He crazily rushed around. No kings were able to stand up to his power. They didn't even have the chance to run. Kill Long Chen. Over 20 kings immediately abandoned their current opponents to charge at Long Chen. Previously, they had received orders not to be in a hurry to kill Long Chen and to instead focus on the rest of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's people. Otherwise, once Long Chen was killed, the battle would be over, and they wouldn't have an excuse or chance to kill the others. But now Long Chen was crazily killing their kings, and someone finally gave the order to kill him. Split the heavens three. A huge saber image soared into the sky. It was now ten times larger than it had been before. Boom. Over thirty kings were killed in one blow. Shocking all the experts fighting. HMPH. And you said you weren't a heaven Caesar. To be so vicious at such a young age. You need to be killed now. Suddenly. A cold cry rang out. And a hand that filled the heavens slammed toward Long Chen. In that instant. It felt like the world had frozen. A hall master level expert had actually attacked Long Chen. Split the heavens for. Long Chen's eyes were icy cold. A quarter of his immortal platforms had all their energy sucked dry. Blood poured from all of his pores. But his expression was still calm as he slashed his saber down. Chapter 1168 Continuous Reaping Translator Born to be time moved slowly. Long Chen's saber tore through the large hand coming toward him. That hand was cut in two as though it was as weak as tofu. Even after going through it, the saber's power hadn't weakened at all. It landed right on the hall master level expert. Boom. What shocked everyone was that this expert from the heaven suppressing magic sect had his defenses cleanly cut in two, and Long Chen's saber reached his body, instantly causing his body to explode. How could they not be shocked? Long Chen was actually so terrifying that he was able to kill a hall master level expert. Long Chen vomited blood. It dyed his whole body red, and bones were revealed in some places. His current power was so great that his body was unable to bear it. The stronger the move he used, the greater the burden on his body. However, he didn't care. He circulated the primal chaos space's life energy, instantly healing all of his injuries. Brat, how dare you destroy my physical body? Die. Suddenly, a translucent figure appeared in the air. Runes revolved around it, and it charged at Long Chen. It waved a staff in its hand. What? The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples let out startled cries. What was that translucent figure? Be careful, that's his Yuan spirit. It's also extremely powerful, shouted Li Changfang. He wanted to go help, but he was entangled with three experts and couldn't escape. So what? This time I'll destroy your Yuan spirit. Long Chen snorted and raised blood drinker, preparing to attack once again. But suddenly, a rainbow light flashed by, and a large mouth like a black hole swallowed the Yuan spirit. Cloud, you can't eat that. Long Chen was shocked. That was an existence above a king and it couldn't just be randomly eaten. But it was already too late. Cloud had already swallowed the Yuan spirit into its stomach. Cloud suddenly began to shine, and a terrifying pressure erupted from its body. Long Chen and Men Qi's hearts both clenched. They were afraid Cloud would explode. Boom. An explosive sound rang out, and runes raged through the air. A terrifying and berserk aura soared out. What? When the runes faded, a huge figure appeared. It was 1500 meters long. Cloud was enveloped by terrifying runes. Its golden eyes seemed to blaze as if they could see through space. It was incredibly majestic, like a true divine steed. It advanced. Long Chen's heart shook. Previously, from devouring so many ninth rank sea demons, Cloud had already reached the peak of the eighth rank. He hadn't expected it would directly advance to the ninth rank after devouring the heaven suppressing magic sect's expert Yuan spirit. Now that it had advanced to the ninth rank, it was incredibly terrifying. Cloud, kill the kings as quickly as possible, shouted Long Chen. He wasn't worried about Cloud fighting kings now that it had advanced to the ninth rank. It just so happened that there were two kings who were attacking Cloud with their king items. Cloud spread its huge wings, slamming them toward those two. Their two king items were sent flying, while the king items masters were turned into bloody mist by terrifying astral winds. Not good. The Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill's effect is almost up. Long Chen suddenly found that the Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill's energy had reached its limit. Its effect was starting to fall. This kind of pill activated rapidly, but its effect passed quickly as well. 
Furthermore, once its medicinal effects disappeared, he would be left in an extremely weak state. Split the heavens for, Long Chen rose into the air and attacked one of the experts fighting Liu Kang. That Hall Master level expert was appalled and hastily blocked it with his weapon. Space exploded, and he was blown back, vomiting blood. Just at that moment, the prepared Liu Kang slashed out his sword, killing him. Not even his Yuan spirit escaped. This really is addicting. That's already the second. Although Long Chen's body almost exploded because of this immense power, he was filled with excitement. He wanted to draw out more life energy from the primal chaos space to heal. But he saw the iron spruce oaks had already withered. He suddenly thought of the divine life elixir. Drinking a mouthful of it, his injuries completely recovered. At this time, the dragon and tiger images in his eyes began to fade. One more. Long Chen raised his saber. Now that there wasn't much time left, Long Chen clenched his teeth and gathered all his remaining energy. Split the heavens for, this time, Long Chen's attack covered over half the battlefield. His saber image fell, enveloping seven experts on the level of Hall Masters. Boom. Four of them were from the ancient races, and they shot back, vomiting blood. The other three were not so fortunate, because they were from the heaven-suppressing magic sect furthermore. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts fighting them wouldn't give them any chance to get away. As a result, the three of them were killed, with only their Yuan spirits fleeing. But those Yuan spirits were immediately devoured by a large mouth. Cloud seemed to greatly enjoy the taste of Yuan spirits. With its innate talent, killing Yuan spirits seemed to be exceptionally simple. Once Yuan spirits were in its stomach, they would be no more than food. Heavens, boss is mighty. Guo Ran and the others couldn't believe their eyes. Long Chen's one attack had resulted in three Hall Master level experts dying, and the other four being injured. But after this attack, Long Chen became covered in cracks. He almost exploded. He hastily gulped down mouthful after mouthful of the Divine Life Elixir. Die. Just as Long Chen was recovering, an ancient race expert attacked Long Chen from behind. He was a Hall Master level expert. At this time, Long Chen's eyes were dim, and the dragon and tiger images had faded. The Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill's effect had come to an end, and a wave of weakness washed over him. He was powerless to dodge. Now, Dragon Blood Laser Sword, Guo Ran suddenly shouted, and all the warriors of the Dragon Blood Legion suddenly began to shine. More accurately, their armor was shining. There was a thumb sized crystal at the center of their chests. Those crystals began to shine, and over 13,000 rays of light shot out, condensing into a huge sword of light in the air. Before anyone could react, this sword shot out at an unbelievable speed. The ancient race expert attacking Long Chen exploded on contact. Nice job everyone, praised Guo Ran Noveloon.com back when Long Chen had asked Guo Ran how the armor forging had been going. Guo Ran had said he had gone back to tweak things. One of the reasons was because of this collective move, the Dragon Blood Laser Sword. This move was something he had spent unimaginable time and effort on. After much research, he had developed a way to gather all the energy of the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors and gather it into one ultimate attack. This was their first time using it. Previously, they had done a few small experiments, but they hadn't used it at its full power. That was because using this move would instantly draw out all their energy. Unless they had no choice, they wouldn't use this move. But now that they had, it revealed itself to be a stunning move capable of shocking the heavens and making gods and ghosts weep. A Hall Master level expert had been killed in one blow. Furthermore, the ancient races had weaker spiritual strength, making it so his Yuan spirit was destroyed as well. This move shocked everyone, filling the Dragon Blood Legion's warriors with pride. Their power also couldn't be disregarded. Long Chen, quickly run. Suddenly, Long Chen received a message from the Zuan Master. He sensed many powerful auras rushing in this direction. Long Chen understood the Zuan Master's intention. Right now, the Zhuanshan Dao sect had already taken the advantage on the battlefield. As long as he left, everyone would be safe. Cloud, we're leaving. Long Chen jumped onto Cloud's back. Runes appeared on its wings, and it transformed into a seven-colored ray of light that instantly disappeared over the horizon. Seeing Long Chen leave, the Zuan master suddenly pressed a finger on his forehead. Blood dripped off his finger as he drew a complicated image in the sky. His face paled slightly as he did. Clearly. Whatever he was doing came at a price for him. Immortal Key appeared within the diagram, and it was sucked away by the reincarnation mirror. Its light exploded, and the ancient race expert, Ma Zing Kong, the Pill Tower expert, and Zhu and Jizzy were blown back by its power. 
The reincarnation mirrors light enveloped all the members of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, and they suddenly disappeared. Li Xiangxuan's voice echoed throughout the air. I, Li Xiangxuan, will remember today. The mountains and rivers do not forget, and we have a long time to settle our debts. Damn it. Ma Zingkong cursed. He and the others had tried to stop them, but they had been one step too late. The ancient race expert's expression was also dark. While the heaven-suppressing magic sect's losses had been the worst, his weren't much better. Three of their hall master level experts had died, and almost a hundred kings had fallen. The pill tower's side was lucky. Their losses were easy to calculate. They hadn't come with many people, and now only one of them remained. Just at this time, space trembled as countless ancient race experts appeared. The ancient race expert had let out a call for reinforcements. So all the nearby ancient race experts had come, but they were too late. Let's chase Long Chen, suggested someone. It's useless. That bird, it should be a legendary cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. Its speed is incomparable, and with such a huge head start, we can't possibly catch up. Someone immediately shot down that idea. It's a cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow? Good. Then I'll report this to the Zuan beasts. Once they learn that the Zuanchen Dao sect has been harboring a traitor of the Zuan beasts, I wonder what they'll do. The ancient race expert smiled sinisterly. Today, Long Chen had completely solidified the enmity between him and the ancient races. He had killed far too many of them, and it was a slap in their faces. Daoist Zuan Jizi, can you calculate Long Chen's position? Asked Ma Zing Kong. It's impossible. He's a heaven Caesar, and if I directly try to calculate anything about him, I will be killed by the heavens. Just take a look at what happened when I tried to calculate his future. Zuan Jizi revealed his bare shoulder, causing everyone to suck in a cold gasp of air. Chapter 1169 Shameless Plot Translator Born to be seeing Zuan Jizi's shoulder was pitch black like charcoal. Everyone sucked in a cold gasp of air. Do you see? This is the backlash from just trying to read Long Chen's fate once. Half my body exploded, and the parts that regrew have been cursed. Making them like this, said Zuan Jizi hatefully. He had lived for many years, but he had never encountered such a situation. In truth, the regrown parts of his body would feel like needles were stabbing them every few hours, tormenting him. When Zuan Jizi thought about this, he was infuriated. Back then, he hadn't really been calculating Long Chen's future. He had just been calculating his position, but just that had almost cost him his life. If he had tried calculating his future, there probably wouldn't be the slightest speck of his bones left. That made Zuan Jizi extremely uneasy and terrified. Zuan Jizi was an extremely vile person. While he roamed around the world, whenever he noticed geniuses being born, he would secretly plant a Dao seed within them as a baby. This slave heart Dao seed was extremely evil. It extracted a celestial's heavenly Dao energy and gave it to him. He was like a leech, constantly using this secret art to absorb energy from others for his own cultivation. In the beginning, he had been very careful. He only placed the slave heart Dao seed in a few ordinary celestials. But as his status rose, his confidence inflated. Using his status, he began targeting the more talented babies. The greater the talent of the baby, the more likely they were to be part of a large sect or ancient family. He could use his status to win their trust. It was very convenient. Furthermore, even after a thousand years, no one had noticed any clues about his slave heart Dao seeds. That made him more and more brazen, and he gradually became completely unbridled. Since he often went around to the large sects to tell fortunes for people, he was able to encounter many talented babies. Nowadays, he was too lazy to bother keeping track of the ordinary babies he placed these slave heart Dao seeds on. It could be said that Hua Shiaya was actually an exception. Someone had revealed to him that the Hua family had a Dao seeking King Jade. That wasn't something useful to others. But for Zuan Jizi who peered into the heavens, it was a good supplementary tool. When he had rushed over the Hua family, he had seen Hua Shiayu who had been born not long ago. Seeing that her talent was extremely good, he had directly revealed his status. While reading Hua Shiayu's fortune, he had stealthily placed the slave heart Dao seed. Then he had used Hua Shiayu to extort the Hua family for their Dao seeking King Jade. But the Hua family had refused, infuriating Zuan Jizi. He said Hua Shiaya would have three tribulations in her life, and her lifespan would not surpass 23. The three tribulations were something Zuan Jizi had read in her fortune, while her limited lifespan was what he himself had decided. Those who had his slave heart Dao seed within them had their life and death within his hands. In order to make people revere him more, 
he would occasionally make a divine calculation that someone was imminently about to die. But this time, he had run into Long Chen. Zuan Jizi was full of regret over this matter. Just why had he been so stupid as to threaten Long Chen at that time? If he had simply allowed Long Chen to remove the slave heart Dao seed, then things would have been fine. The Hua family wouldn't dare to try and blame him for it. Most importantly, there was no proof. No one would have been able to do anything. But Long Chen was different. After his failure of calculating Long Chen's position had cost him half his life, an intense feeling of unease had filled his heart. He felt like things were about to turn sour for him. If Long Chen transmitted this information about, he would fall from grace. That was why he said that Long Chen was a heaven Caesar. Long Chen's growth was truly bizarre and similar to a legendary heaven Caesar. Adding in how domineering he was and his vicious methods, Zuan Jizi felt like accusing him of being a heaven Caesar was the best option. Just like Daoist Zuan Jizi said, Long Chen is a heaven Caesar. We should immediately initiate the righteous path's arrest warrant and kill him at all costs, said Ma Zing Kong. No, he had some kind of powerful treasure that shields him from the mysteries of fate. Due to my close friendship with brother Dan Tang, I invited him over from the pill tower. You understand. Zuan Jizi looked at them. His meaning was clear. Long Chen definitely had to die, but he didn't want more people to know of this. Zuan Jizi had already invited the elder from the pill tower to be the judge of this matter. In other words, whatever benefits could be gained from Long Chen's body would go to him. They couldn't even think about fighting over them. Ma Zingkong and the ancient race expert immediately nodded with comprehension. It was no wonder the pill tower would interfere in this matter. Dan Teng smiled toward the two of them. Although my pill tower will carry out this matter, we are still grateful for your assistance. After all, you two already have a well-known relationship to Long Chen and the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Furthermore, I, Dan Tang, will swear on the Dan family that whatever benefits I gain, I will not forget the two of you. Ah, who cares about benefits? As long as you, Dan Tang, say the word, my heaven-suppressing magic sect would not frown to walk into wind or fire. Ma Zingkong patted his chest sincerely. Ma Zingkong could easily tell that Zhu and Jizi had tied his fate to Dan Tang. In this world, probably only the Zhuanshan Dao sect would be stupid enough to go against the Pill Tower. Others weren't so stupid. Having a good relationship with the Pill Tower would definitely maximize the benefits for the sect. Furthermore, the Heaven Suppressing Magic Sect already had a good relationship with the Pill Tower. So expressing his sincerity toward this matter was a must. I always support this. I hope that brother Dan Ten might be able to help us with medicinal pills in the future, said the ancient race expert. Don't worry, once this matter is over, I definitely won't disappoint you. Dan Ten was very forthright. In truth, he was a very crafty person, and although his words sounded grand, he didn't give an exact promise on anything. The four of them quickly made an agreement. As long as they put an effort into testifying that Long Chen was a heaven Caesar, it would quickly gain momentum. If anyone asked for proof, they could be vague. They wouldn't say there was proof and they wouldn't say there wasn't. But they would be sure once Long Chen was killed. If Long Chen was here, he would definitely point at their noses and curse. Are you stupid? Zuan Jizi already said that he received a backlash when he tried calculating my fate. Now he's saying that I have a precious treasure shielding me from the readings of fate? If I was screened off, how did he learn anything? And if he didn't read my fate, what about the backlash? but it had to be said that Zhu and Jizi truly had some ability to be able to dupe Dan Tang. And Dan Tang was someone who possessed enough power to make Ma Zingkong and the ancient race expert cooperate. What are we supposed to do when the Martial Heaven Alliance investigates? Asked Ma Zingkong worriedly. There's no need to fear. The Martial Heaven Alliance might be powerful, always strict, and impartial. But there are many things that they require proof for. It's very inconvenient for them. We'll just stall them. Saying that we suspect Long Chen is a heaven Caesar, but as for the proof, we'll give it to them later. Since I come from Heavenly Fate Island, they won't want to offend me. Although I'm 100% certain Long Chen is a heaven Caesar, without taking off the treasure shielding him from the readings of fate, I cannot prove anything. My guess is that the Martial Heaven Alliance still won't be able to do anything to us even if they want to stand up for the Zhuanshan Dao sect after all. There are too many oddities with Long Chen's growth that no one can explain. In the end, each side will be standing on the side of reason. Although the Zhuangshan Dao sect took some losses, compared to you three, those losses are insignificant. All we have to do is maintain our story that we came here to capture Long Chen in order to protect the innocents. If the Zhuangshan Dao sect had simply handed him over, 
none of this would have happened. But instead, they viciously attacked us with their blades. That was clearly wrong, as we had the neutral pill tower present who only wanted peace. The Zuanchen Deosect clearly attacked because they felt guilty. In this way, the Zuanchen Deosect will be the one with the greater responsibility for this matter. Let's see if they dare to try anything against us now, sneered Zuan Jizi. Everyone's eyes brightened. With the way Zuan Jizi had put it, their actions had instantly landed on the side of reason. As long as they maintained that they had invited Long Chen over to investigate him, but had instead met a fierce slaughter that felt like the Zuanchen Deo sect had wanted to kill them to keep them quiet, they were most certainly on the right side. After all, four of their powers combined were far stronger than the Zuanchen Deo sect, and so their word counted for more. Fuck, our losses this time are huge. That brute Long Chen and his subordinates are so vicious. Who would believe that he isn't a heaven Caesar? Ma Kong was filled with hatred as he looked at the few remaining experts by his side. The ancient race expert was also filled with hatred. He didn't know how he was supposed to explain this matter once he got back. Their losses were immense. Fortunately, through this matter, he had ended up creating a deeper relationship with the Pill Tower. Hopefully that would make up for the losses. A blazing burst of light came from the Zuanchen Deo sect's Zuanchen Tower. It connected with a ray of light in the air and a large group of people in the plaza. The Zuan Master had linked the reincarnation mirror with the Zuanchen Tower to transport everyone here. Zuan Master, my boss, shouted Guo Ran. Long Chen will be fine. With the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrows speed, and considering they don't have any carrier divine items, it's impossible for them to catch up, comforted the Zuan Master. In the beginning, the Zuan Master also hadn't been able to tell it was a cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow but he had realized it after it had devoured a hall master level expert's yuan spirit. To have such terrifying power at just the 8th rank, it could only be a legendary cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. Furthermore, the powerful pressure it had emitted after advancing to the 9th rank had allowed many of the powerful experts to realize its identity. That made the Zuan master bitterly smile. Long Chen truly hit his trump cards well, and they were each more terrifying than the last. He was truly worthy of being a heaven defier. All inner sect disciples should go back and rest. Starting today, the Zuanchen Deo sect is sealing its borders. No disciples are to go out, ordered the Zuan master. The Zuanchen Deo sect had truly stuck itself out this time for Long Chen, and it would most likely cause an immense commotion. They had to be careful now. Zuan master, what should we do? Asked Liu Kang. A bright light appeared in the Zuan master's eyes, and he smiled slightly. That Zuan Jizi is afraid the news that he placed a slave heart Deo seed on Hua Shiaya will become public. That's why he stubbornly insists Long Chen is a heaven Caesar. In order to kill the only one who can testify, the Zuan master had asked Hua Shiaya about this on the way back, and so he was clear on the causes of this matter. So it's Heavenly Fate Island. We can't provoke them. Liu Kang's expression changed. There is nothing in this world that can't be provoked. It just depends on how you do it. My guess is they've already started crying thief and went to the Martial Heaven Alliance. But that's fine. They merely have the brains of a three-year-old child. They're not worth being afraid of, said the Zuan Master disdainfully. However, what happened today caused the Zuan Master to feel a bit of helplessness. His plans had all gone smoothly for many years now, with everything in his control. But when it came to Long Chen, he had miscalculated. He had never expected four great powers to attack together today. The Zuan master looked into the distance. Perhaps he now finally understood why Long Chen didn't like scheming. Chapter 1170 Recovering from Injuries Translator Born to be cloud rapidly flew through the air. Long Chen was feeling weaker and weaker, as though his body was about to break down. His head was about to explode. This wasn't due to an injury, but the side effect of the Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill. It had given him immense power, but in exchange for that power, he had to pay back a debt. Long Chen was in extreme pain. The Divine Life Elixir was unable to alleviate it, as this was no ordinary injury. This could be considered a Deo injury. After forcibly extracting energy from heaven and earth, he had to pay it back, and that process was excruciating enough to make someone wish they were dead. When he had used the Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill, he hadn't had any energy left in his body. That worsened his current condition. The Heavenly Deos were extracting back their energy from Long Chen but he didn't have the energy to be extracted. So now it felt like some strange energy was causing all the cells in his body to wither as it extracted their energy. Damn heavens, this energy was something I obtained through my own abilities. So why should I have to return it? 
Long Chen roared furiously inside, but he had no way to resist the extracting of the heavenly deos. Pain racked his body, and he felt like millions of needles were piercing through every inch of his skin. The pain was indescribable. This was different from his heavenly tribulations. This was something he couldn't do anything about. He could only clench his teeth and endure. Furthermore, he couldn't even faint even if he wanted to. With cloud speed, they ended up somewhere Long Chen didn't even know about after rushing for eight hours. He finally had Cloud find a place to descend. Long Chen saw that they had appeared on top of a deep valley. He found a random cave and had Cloud guard the outside. Enduring the pain, he began refining pills. But due to the pain, he couldn't focus. He failed three times before finally succeeded with one pill. And it was just a seven ring high grade pill. He immediately swallowed it. And the medicinal energy quickly spread. Cutting off his sense of pain. He finally felt a bit better. That price really was crazy. Fortunately I escaped, or wouldn't I be crushed like a dog now? Long Chen still felt some lingering fear. The Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill's power had been even greater than he had expected. This was the result of it being nourished for countless years. Its power had increased and so had its side effects. But Long Chen could only endure. This medicinal pill only allowed him to block out a portion of the pain. With his pill sovereign memories, Long Chen knew that this kind of phenomenon was very normal. He couldn't forcibly use medicinal energy to block the heavenly deos from extracting energy from him, or it would just worsen his deo injury. Cloud, can you find the way back? Long Chen took out a jade tablet. It indicated his current position, and it also indicated another position, which was the Zhuanchen deo sect. This jade tablet was a map containing millions and millions of miles of terrain. However, right now, it was merely able to show an arrow pointing to where the Zhuanchen deo sect lay. The two of them were so far apart it was unable to accurately say where the Zhuanchen Deo sect was exactly. Cloud let out a bird cry, telling Long Chen that it could use its spiritual connection with Menki to find where she was. It would be easy to get back. Good. Then you go back. Tell Menki and the others that I'm safe and fine. But for now, it's not convenient for me to go back, said Long Chen. Cloud let out a quiet bird cry. Long Chen smiled slightly. Don't worry. I'll just recuperate here for a few days, and once I'm recovered, I'm thinking of taking a trip to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect if I still didn't go, it would be improper of me, only then did Cloud spread its wings, vanishing from Long Chen's sight, once Cloud was gone, in order to be extra careful, Long Chen flew on his own for over two hours before jumping into a river, following its flow and concealing his aura, he arrived at the bottom of a waterfall, creating a cave in the back of the waterfall, he lived there for seven days. Long Chen spent those seven days lying on the ground without the slightest energy. He barely had the energy to breathe. He didn't struggle at all. He simply let the heavenly deos extract energy from him continuously during this time. Finally, after the seventh day, that feeling disappeared. At this moment, an explosive sound came from his body. Each of his cells became like hungry wolves, crazily devouring heaven and earth's energy. Long Chen also took out Yuan Spirit Stones and absorbed their energy. Unfortunately, he didn't have that many Yuan Spirit Stones left. He only had a couple hundred thousand. Because he was afraid he wouldn't be able to stop himself from using them all, he had distributed the rest amongst the others. Regretfully, the energy within a couple hundred thousand Yuan Spirit Stones was only enough for him to half recover. Sensing that he had recovered to 50%, Long Chen finally sighed with relief. The feeling of being weak wasn't a good one. Now, even if he did run into enemies, he would have some confidence. Long Chen didn't immediately go out after this. He continued recovering, because it wasn't just him who needed to recover. Lai Long and Huo Long also needed time, because they had used up all their energy in the last battle. Men Qi and the others had waited anxiously for three days before Cloud finally returned. Hearing that Long Chen was fine raised the spirits of the Dragon Blood Legion. When the Zuan master heard that Long Chen was temporarily not coming back, he couldn't help but shake his head. He understood Long Chen's intentions. He was worried about causing trouble for the Zuan Chen Deo sect, and he didn't want them to be everyone's target. That made the Zuan master feel vexed. As the master of his sect, he wasn't even able to protect his disciple. Last time, he had been besieged by four powerful experts, and it had been Long Chen who had consecutively killed the Hall Master level experts reversing the tides. If it hadn't been for that, Liu Kang wouldn't have been able to come help him, and there would have been no chance for them to get away. Through this battle, the Zuan master realized Long Chen had too many variables about him. 
he was fundamentally not someone he could control. However, knowing that Long Chen was fine allowed him to relax. Considering his methods and intelligence, he shouldn't end up at a disadvantage in any ordinary circumstances. In fact, sometimes it might even be safer for Long Chen to be on his own. Because when others provoked him, he could just laugh it off. But when others insulted the people by his side, he would immediately explode. Zuan Master, the Martial Heaven Alliance had issued a summons. I'll make a trip there tomorrow. Liu Kang held a golden card in his hand. I'll go instead. You're lacking the sharpness to face those shameless fellows. The Zuan Master shook his head. Liu Kang was a calm and careful man. He was very meticulous with how he handled things. But he was lacking the domineering and aggressive aspect necessary to handle this. But if you personally go, wouldn't it lower the Zuan Chandeo sect's prestige? Liu Kang wasn't so sure this was the best idea. That's fine. Don't we have our own trump cards? First, we'll slap their face. Then we'll show them our cards. The Zuan Master smiled faintly. Not long after the Zuan Master left the Zuan Chandeo sect, a piece of shocking news spread. The defensive region of the Zuan Chandeo sect in the Eastern Sea had been the grounds of a righteous and corrupt path battle. The Zuan Chandeo sect had captured a large number of the corrupt path's experts and had even captured one of their sect masters. This news shook the entire righteous path. It had to be known that such a figure from the corrupt path had not been slain in thousands of years. Furthermore, he had been captured alive this time. The Zuan Chandeo sect shocked countless righteous sects. Other than this, there was an even more shocking piece of news. According to the rumors, the Zuan Chandeo sect was home to a monster suspected to be a heaven Caesar. He was not a celestial, but his combat power was limitless, and he fought across realms as easy as harvesting melons. When the ancient races, the heaven-suppressing magic sect, the Pill Tower, and the Heavenly Fate Pavilion in the Grand Han ancient nation had tried to capture him. He had fiercely struck back, continuously killing kings. Then with a pill that stimulated his potential, he had inflicted serious damage on multiple soul transformation experts. And in the end, several of them had died. This news astonished countless sects. With the Martial Heaven Alliance as a mediator, the Zuan Master met with the leaders of the Four Great Powers. Zuan Jizi firmly testified that Long Chen was a Heaven Caesar. He brought up all kinds of suspicious points, his saliva flying from his incessant torrent, the ancient races, heaven suppressing magic sect, and the pill tower all backed his testimony. The Zuan master had directly sworn using his name as the master of the Zuan Chandeo sect that if Long Chen was actually a heaven Caesar, he would immediately disband the Zuan Chandeo sect with such a serious guarantee. The opponents had no idea what to say. The Zuan Master was telling them very directly not to try talking about theory or suspicions. He guaranteed that Long Chen was not a heaven Caesar, and if he was wrong, his sect would immediately vanish like smoke in the wind. That even stunned the Martial Heaven Alliance's people. As the leader of the Zuan Chandeo sect, Li Xiang Xuan couldn't possibly say such a thing carelessly. Furthermore, the Zuan Chandeo sect's reputation was very good in the Martial Heaven Alliance. Quite a few experts in the alliance respected the Zuan Chandeo sect greatly. Seeing that Li Xiang Xuan dared to make such a promise immediately caused the people who stood by the Zuan Chandeo sect side to warn the ancient races and heaven suppressing magic sect not to wrongly accuse an innocent person. Because Li Xiang Xuan had taken out the Zuan Chandeo sect's future as his stakes, this matter ended up becoming extremely serious. If the ancient races, the heaven suppressing magic sect, and the Pill Tower wanted to continue saying that Long Chen was a heaven Caesar, they would also have to put up equal stakes. In other words, Li Xiang Xuan was gambling with them, with the Martial Heaven Alliance being the one to enforce it. If Long Chen was a heaven Caesar, then the Zuan Chandeo sect would immediately vanish from this world. But if Long Chen was not a heaven Caesar, then the ancient races, heaven suppressing magic sect, and Pill Tower could not brush it off with just a sorry. To put it frankly, this was forcing them to put their money where their mouths were. If they were so confident Long Chen was a heaven Caesar, then come and gamble. As a result, the ancient races, heaven suppressing magic sect, and Pill Tower didn't dare to say anything. This problem had become too big, especially to the expert representing the ancient races. He was nothing more than a member from one race amongst the ancient races, and he was not even the leader of that race. If he went along with this and swore Long Chen was a heaven Caesar, then the ancient race alliance would lose all its prestige if he was wrong. He would also be kicked out from the ancient race alliance. In front of such a terrifying gamble, his confidence wavered, let alone him. Even Zuan Jizi was dumbfounded. 
he didn't dare to gamble like this either. If in the end, Long Chen was proven not to be a heaven Caesar, then their three powers would be disbanded, and they would probably chase him to the ends of the earth as vengeance. Perhaps Zhu and Jizi wasn't afraid of the others, but the Pill Tower could still kill him. Even Heavenly Fate Island wouldn't protect him from Pill Valley. With a single sentence, the Zuan Master struck a brilliant slap across all four faces. He exchanged the corrupt experts he had captured with the Martial Heaven Alliance for an ocean's worth of resources and returned. As for the Martial Heaven Alliance, its decree was that since the four great powers didn't dare to gamble and say that they were sure, then all their people that had died had perished for nothing, and they also had to pay the Zuanshan Dao sect for their losses. In the future, they were not to find trouble with Long Chen, or the Martial Heaven Alliance would stop them. The four of them could only leave, looking like they had just swallowed a basin of dog shit. This result was completely out of their expectations. A few days after this event took place, Long Chen finally exited his seclusion. Having fully recovered, he activated his jade tablet to check where exactly he was. He couldn't help being surprised. I ended up here. Chapter 1171 Grand Xia Ancient Nation Translator Born to be Long Chen realized that his jade tablet said that he was currently within the Grand Xia Ancient Nation. Within the Central Plains, there were countless sects and tens of thousands of ideologies of the Dao. But there were four special powers. The Four Ancient Nations. The Grand Xia Ancient Nation. The Grand Han Ancient Nation. The Grand Cao Ancient Nation. And the Grand Chu Ancient Nation. These four nations had inheritances that could be traced all the way back to the Immortal Era. The four grand ancient nations were terrifying existences, with their own profound foundations and powerful divine items protecting their karmic luck. Most importantly, the four ancient nations controlled vast swaths of land, their population was immense, and they also had plentiful natural resources. No single sect could compare to them. So even if the Central Plains was dominated by sects, the four ancient nations were still titans. They were different from sects, and they still retained an imperial regime. Each ancient nation possessed a terrifying foundation that made it so even an enormous existence like the Zhuanshan Dao sect wouldn't want to provoke them. The Grand Xia ancient nation was located in the eastern part of the Central Plains. Their territory was as large as over ten prefectures in the eastern wasteland. As for where Long Chen was, he was just on the edges. This actually delighted him, because Chen Wenlong had told him that the original Devil Race's stronghold was located within the Grand Xia ancient nation's imperial capital. I wonder whether Yu Xiaokian is there? I better go take a look. Long Chen started rushing deeper into the Grand Xia, but after crossing two huge mountains, he came to a shocked stop. In front of him was an unending mountain range, and there were multiple layers of light around it. It clearly indicated a formation, but that was simply insane. Was the Grand Xia's entire border covered by a formation? Just how much did it cost to maintain such a thing every day? Newcomers who want to enter the Grand Xia's realm, come register with your identity badge. Within the mountain range was a large city gate, and there was an expert shouting on top of it. He had clearly seen the distant, dumbfounded Long Chen. Even a door watcher is a sea expansion expert? This Grand Xia's foundation has to be insane. Long Chen was filled with shock. Please show me your identity badge. Long Chen arrived in front of the gate. The gate defender saw that Long Chen was a foundation forging expert and immediately became a bit more polite. Long Chen handed over his Zhuanshan Dao sect's badge. That person checked, waving it over a stone tablet. Words immediately appeared on the stone tablet. Zhuanshan Dao sect core disciple, Long Chen. Long Chen had never known that this badge had such a use. It could actually be used to enter the ancient nations. No wonder you have reached the foundation forging realm at such a young age. So you're a core disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect forgive me for my rudeness. Envy immediately appeared in this person's eyes, and his cautious expression relaxed. You're too courteous. I was just lucky to get this status, said Long Chen. Brother Long, is your trip to my grand Xia for pleasure or business? Asked the guard upon seeing Long Chen was easy to talk to. After all. Long Chen was a foundation forging expert and a core disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect to a border guard like him. Just talking to Long Chen for a bit would be enough for him to brag about to his fellows. The sect's cultivation techniques are too dull, and my hall master said my Dao heart isn't steady enough. He ordered me to go wander around to stabilize my Dao heart. I heard that the Grand Xia scenery is beautiful with countless famous mountains and great rivers, heavenly treasures and magnificence. People of great honor and heroism. In terms of inheritance, you're the top of the four ancient nations. 
That's why I came to admire your learning and culture, said Long Chen politely. Brother Long is truly worthy of being a core disciple of a famous sect. Each of your words is like a gem. And you're right to come to my grand Zaya. Its culture is definitely the most profound out of the four ancient nations. There are countless historical sites where you can appreciate the culture. It's not like a certain nation that learned our inheritance and then shamelessly said that it came from their own nation. Truly shameless to the peak. A touch of disdain appeared on the guard's face. Brother, could it be you're talking about the Grand Han ancient nation? Probed Long Chen with surprise. You also know of their shamelessness. Now it was the guard's turn to be surprised. He, I've heard a bit about it. Chortled Long Chen. He hadn't just heard about it. He had personally experienced an old bastard from the Grand Han ancient nation threatening to kill his entire family when he had been about to kill Hans Henayu. Brother, do you have the time to have a drink with this little brother? If it's not too much trouble, could you tell me about what happened with the Grand Han? I'm very curious how they could be so shameless, said Long Chen. He, for brother Long, it's no trouble at all. It just so happens my shift is about over. I'll find someone to replace me. Just wait a moment. I'll treat you to some wine. The guard sensed Long Chen's hostility toward the Grand Han and was delighted, immediately treating him as a friend. He ran to tell his subordinates to send another expert. That expert took over for him. While he and Long Chen entered the city, there was a tavern not far from them. This was just a small city. It might even be more accurate to describe it as a town. It was only 10 miles wide, but it wasn't like an ordinary border town. Although it was small, it wasn't desolate. In fact, it was the opposite. It possessed the feeling of home, as if anyone who came would feel like it was their hometown, allowing them to feel at peace. Novaloon.com No signs of battle or struggle could be seen so far. There weren't even any scars or vestiges of such a thing, meaning this little city had never even been attacked. It was simple, yet grand and elegant. Long Chen learned that the guard's name was Qi Hao, and he was one of the guard captains of this region. Brother Long, how is this wine? Qi Hao gave Long Chen a bowl of wine. Looking at it, Long Chen said, the fragrance is rich and mellow, it is delicate, yet it lingers in the air for a long time, allowing a person to reflect over it. The craftsmanship that went into this wine is extremely complicated, from picking out the ingredients, to drying, fermenting, brewing, purifying, and aging it. Each step was done meticulously. Just this one bowl of wine is enough for me to feel the depths of the Grand Zaya's culture. It really is amazing. Long Chen was not faking his praise. As an alchemist, as soon as he took a taste, he could not only tell its composition, but he could also infer the craftsmanship that went into it. His previous praise for the Grand Zaya had been pure nonsense. He didn't know anything about it. So how could he admire it? He had just been going through the motions. But after tasting this wine, he was deeply moved. The world was truly huge, and all professions had their own inheritances. For the wine that trickled down to a rural town like this to be so refined was almost inconceivable to him. The craftsmanship that had gone into it was not at all inferior to refining pills. Ha ha ha. Brother Long is truly a cultured person, worthy of being a core disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Qi Hao gave Long Chen a thumbs up. Brother Qi Hao, I have something I'm curious about. Probed Long Chen. Go ahead. The reason this wine is so good isn't just because of the craftsmanship or ingredients. The majority of the reason is because of the Winnemucker. The Winnemucker had a completely devout heart when making it. When I drank it, I could feel a special kind of energy spreading through my body. I don't understand this, said Long Chen. Qi Hao's jaw dropped, and he looked at Long Chen with shock for a long time before being able to speak again. Brother Long, you really are a monster. You were able to sense that. Long Chen was also startled. Are you saying, it's a kind of inheritance? Yes. This wine is something I obtained for my services the last time I went to the imperial capital. Due to my contributions, I was awarded two jugs. At that time, I drank one jug with my brothers, while I was never willing to drink the second. It's only because I sensed an immediate familiarity with you that I brought it out. Let me tell you, this wine is something made by the disciples of my grand Zaya's wine god palace. It's never sold on the market no matter how much money you have. It's only given to the Grand Zaya's people and a few precious guests so they can taste it. When he spoke of the Wine God Palace, a reverent expression appeared on Qi Hao's face. Are you saying there is an inheritance of the Wine God within the Grand Han? The Wine God truly exists, asked Long Chen. But as soon as he said that, he realized he had misspoken and continued. I'm not trying to question you, but I find it hard to imagine the existence of immortals and gods. 
I'm not trying to be rude to your God. God's related to faith. And sometimes one bad word would cause a life and death battle between believers. For devout believers, as soon as someone questioned their God, they would consider it the greatest insult. Don't worry, I'm not a member of the wine god palace. In truth, I also don't know if the wine god exists. But if you go to the imperial capital, you absolutely cannot say such a thing in front of the wine god palace's people. If you question their faith, they'll immediately turn hostile. Although the wine god palace's disciples don't like fighting, arguing and fighting against them until you're red in the face is meaningless. Furthermore, if you offend the wine god palace, you won't be able to taste their fine wine. Brother Long, my position is extremely low, so this wine was made by disciples in training. They don't even have a title, so this is naturally the lowest grade wine. I heard that the inner disciples and the core disciples can make wine that will bring a person boundless benefits. The wine god palace's disciples are cultured and refined. They don't usually incur hatred. You'll be fine as long as you don't take the initiative to provoke them. Also, with your status, you might be able to come into contact with the imperial princes and princesses in the capital. At that time, there'll be plenty of fine wine for you to drink. Ah, speaking of which, don't forget me at that time. I wouldn't mind if you gave me a couple jars of good wine to enjoy. Towards the end, Ki Hao's eyes began to shine and he was almost drooling, making Long Chen smile. Long Chen continued to drink two bowls of wine with Ki Hao. He carefully sensed the profundities within it. He found that the meticulous skill that went into making it was definitely comparable to a magical art. Although this wine actually had many blemishes because it was made by a novice, its taste was still flawless to an untrained tongue. Sensing the profound arts that went into it, Long Chen was filled with praise. He suddenly had a thought. Can the Wine God Palace refine medicinal wine? Chapter 1172 Wine God Palace Translator Born to be you absolutely cannot mention medicinal wine in front of the Wine God Palace's disciples. It's a very sensitive subject. Warned Ki Hao solemnly. Why is that? Long Chen was puzzled. This wine was extremely powerful. Although it was just ordinary wine, he sensed a special energy within it. If it was refined into medicinal wine, it would allow the medicinal energy to instantly spread throughout the whole body. It would be over 10 times more effective than pure medicinal elixirs. You must not know. There used to be medicinal wine produced through a combined effort of the Grand Zaya's Wine God Palace and Pill Valley. But later, they suddenly stopped producing it. The Wine God Palace stopped sending Pill Valley their wine. While Pill Valley also stopped giving the Wine God Palace medicinal pills. Both sides immediately turned hostile to each other. Now the Wine God Palace has stopped producing medicinal wine, while Pill Valley continued to try without them. But the medicinal wine they can produce without the Wine God Palace isn't even fit to be called medicinal wine. There's no way to compare it with the original medicinal wine, said Ki Hao. Long Chen hadn't expected there to be such a backstory. It was unexpected that this Wine God Palace would be so obstinate as to even fight against Pill Valley. It had to be known that Ki Hao hadn't said it was a pill tower, it was Pill Valley. What kind of fight was it? Do you know? Brother Ki Hao, probed Long Chen. It, in truth, it was nothing. It was just because of the prophets. Ki Hao shook his head with a bitter smile. Prophets? They didn't like the split in money. Ki Hao shook his head once more. No, you don't comprehend the wine god palace. Although the wine god palace resides within the Grand Zaya, they are not actually controlled by the Grand Zaya. They do not belong to any power and are a group of devout, prideful people. They might gift their fine wine to others, but they definitely won't sell it. You can't talk about selling their wine, or they'll treat it as a blasphemy toward the wine god. But when Pill Valley cooperated with them to create the medicinal wine, Pill Valley's people began to secretly spy on the way the wine god palace's disciples made their wine. The wine god palace's disciples warned and chided them several times, but they refused to change their ways. The conflicts between them grew. The wine god palace's disciples are prideful while Pill Valley's people like to look down on others. As a result, the conflicts grew until there came a day when the Wine God Palace noticed that Pill Valley had been selling their medicinal wine behind their backs. In their fury, they directly kicked out Pill Valley's people and ceased the production of the medicinal wine. As for the Pill Valley, they had already learned the techniques for making wine, and so they didn't care. However, when they began to make their own medicinal wine, they suddenly became dumbfounded. Despite clearly knowing the formula and process of creating the wine, the effect of their medicinal wine was not even a tenth as good as the original wine from the Wine God Palace. At that time, 
Hill Valley finally understood that the true arts were still in their hands, and that they fundamentally couldn't learn them. They tried to fix things with the Wine God Palace, but the Wine God Palace directly told them to scram. Laugh Ki Hao. Amazing. The Wine God Palace's integrity is admirable. Praised Long Chen. This Wine God Palace truly had guts to say such harsh words to Pill Valley. But of course, in the entire Martial Heaven continent, the number of people who would dare say such a thing to Pill Valley can be counted on one hand. Ki Hao nodded. Does the Wine God Palace have many powerful cultivators guarding it? How are they so daring? Asked Long Chen. I don't know. The Wine God Palace's disciples all focus on making wine, and they don't like interacting with the outside world. But the Wine God Palace is an extremely special existence in the entire continent. Many sect masters of large sects will go to the Wine God Palace to worship the Wine God statue and give them a tribute. The Wine God Palace will normally give them some good wine in return. It's said that the wine made by the experts of the Wine God Palace can allow a person to comprehend the heavenly deos. It's extremely beneficial to top experts. So all the large sects treat the Wine God Palace very respectfully. Even Pill Valley doesn't dare to attack the Wine God Palace, said Ki Hao. Long Chen sighed inside. This world was truly huge, and there were many things that surpassed his imagination. Even wine had such a terrifying inheritance. I'll definitely have to take a trip to the Wine God Palace, said Long Chen with anticipation. With Brother Long's character and such astute evaluation skills, you'll definitely be welcomed by the Wine God Palace. Ah, that's right. I had something else I wanted to talk about. What did you say about the Grand Han again? Long Chen returned to the main topic. He felt like it would be very difficult to end up mediating things with the Grand Han. Learning a bit more about it now wasn't a bad thing. The Grand Han is a bunch of shameless egomaniacs. It's like they think the whole continent was made by them, as if the origin of all the culture and magical arts in this world came from them. A long time ago, the Grand Han acquired all kinds of inheritances from the Grand Zaya. It was originally a cultural exchange, and the Grand Zaya didn't hold back. But then they suddenly realized something was off. When the Grand Han learned something, they would start saying that they had been the original innovators. They refused to admit that they were just stealing the culture of my Grand Zaya. At first, it was just a few of them saying this. But later, more and more people refused to admit the truth, saying that all our culture was theirs. If they were just that shameless, then fine. But then they started accusing the Grand Zaya of stealing their culture, that our techniques were taught by them. Those fucking, cough, forgive me for being too excited. Brother Long, Ki Hao immediately felt embarrassed when he burst into obscenities. Are there really such people? Long Chen almost didn't believe it. You think that's it? That was just the start. They became more and more arrogant, tampering with historical and cultural documents. Anything with any fame ended up originating from them, whether it was historical events or famous people. According to them, when the wine god became a god, the wine god supposedly comprehended the Dao and ascended right within their Grand Han ancient nation. Raged Ki Hao. What's the point? Is bragging like this interesting? Long Chen didn't understand. To put it frankly, it's simply that their citizens don't feel enough national pride. Their history isn't dazzling enough. Without enough of a foundation, they steal from others. In any case, the events from that long ago cannot be confirmed. It's all about who's more shameless and whose skin is thicker. Furthermore, as time passed, it turned out their shamelessness was actually brilliant. Right now, all their civilians are full of intense pride, as if other than the ones in the Grand Han, everyone else is a country bumpkin. In the past few thousand years, the Grand Han became more and more arrogant, to the point that their youngsters are like madmen. They go around worshipping idols. Right now, the Grand Han has three supreme geniuses called the Three Monarchs. Each of them looks like a girl, but somehow they have countless admirers who are practically crazy with adoration. Other than the Three Monarchs, they also have the Eight Princes. Don't you think they're begging you to call them the eight bastards? But with the embellishment of the Grand Han, these people end up becoming national icons. Not only do countless people worship them within the Grand Han, but even some of the Grand Zaya's ladies idolize them. There are countless women marrying into the Grand Han. Fuck, it really pisses me off. And the Grand Han's civilians grow more and more united, as well as more and more arrogant. The young women go all out cultivating in order to pursue their idols while the young men also want to become those idols. Now they have countless geniuses rising in their ranks. Before, the Grand Han was the weakest of the four ancient nations, but now they're the strongest. Tell me, what kind of damn logic is this? Ki Hao was venting. 
just a bit away from cursing. Long Chen couldn't help but find it funny. Fundamentally, there was nothing wrong with cultivating in order to become an idol and have others pursue you. However, this was very irritating to the Grand Zaya. In truth, the Grand Zaya's men can take their vengeance. Why don't you seduce their women as well? Long Chen smiled. Brother Long, the Grand Han's confidence is overinflated. Their women always marry within their nation. Even if they were to become nothing more than a maid, they can't marry outside. If they do, not only will they be looked down upon, but their family will also never acknowledge them for the rest of their lives. However, let me tell you, the Grand Han's women, yes, they really are beautiful. There are many of them that are the tender and soft as water kind. An expression of adoration appeared on Ki Hao's face when he mentioned the Grand Han's women, as well as an expression of bitterness like feeding pigs the best cabbages. Long Chen shook his head. The Grand Han's history was truly curious, but as long as the Grand Han didn't have a good relationship with the Grand Xia, he was at ease. Right now, Long Chen didn't know that the Zuan Master had already given the Four Great Powers a slap in the face. He thought it was likely he was already on a wanted list, so he had to be careful. After chatting a bit longer with Qi Hao, they quickly finished the wine. Long Chen took out the best wine the Zuanchen Dao sect had to offer, but he quickly realized that this wine was like horse urine when compared to the wine they had just drunk. After getting a rough understanding of the situation within the Grand Xia, Long Chen got up to say farewell. Qi Hao directly sent Long Chen to the next checkpoint so that he didn't need to be checked twice. Brother Qi, our meeting can be considered fate as I had an immediate sense of familiarity upon seeing you. This little one doesn't have any good gifts for you, but here is an insignificant medicinal pill. It's not worth any money, but you can keep it to remember our meeting. Long Chen gave Qi Hao a jade bottle before leaving. After drinking his fine wine and learning so much, he'd feel bad not leaving something behind. It was a common occurrence for cultivators to exchange gifts. Qi Hao didn't particularly care about it too much. He only opened the jade bottle once Long Chen was far into the distance and gone from his sight. Heavens, this is, this is, looking at the sparkling medicinal pill that had a small figure moving around agilely within, he realized it was a top grade 8th tier pill. It was a rarely seen foundation building pill. Ki Hao's talent wasn't very good. He had attacked the foundation forging realm twice, failing both times. He no longer had any hope of advancing to foundation forging in his lifetime. But this top grade foundation building pill allowed him to see that hope once more. Squad Captain, look at the secret report we just received from the Grand Han. When Ki Ha returned to his border city, someone gave him a sealed letter. What? One of the Grand Han's eight princes were killed? The killer was Long Chen. Ki Ha's eyes almost popped out of his head equals prince. Equals bastard. It's just two new characters inserted within the term for prince. Chapter 1173 Not seeing her translator, born to be Long Chen quickly arrived at a border town with a transportation formation. But this was just a minor transportation formation. He sat through three similar transportation formations as well as one major transportation formation before arriving at the Grand Xia Ancient Nation's imperial capital, Grand Xia City. The transportation formation brought him outside the city. The guards here had already reached the foundation forging realm and their leader was a king. After paying the transportation formation and showing his identification badge again, he finally managed to enter. Once he was in Grand Zaya City, he was filled with shock. It was truly worthy of being one of the Central Plains' four grand ancient nations, with a diameter measuring in the tens of thousands of miles. It was filled with countless soaring buildings that were both grand and luxurious, while also being simple and refined. The most shocking thing to Long Chen was that each one of these buildings had countless formation runes on them that released immense pressure. Just any random building had terrifying defensive power, and there was no need to say anything about the city walls. As the capital of the Grand Xia, this was a no-flying zone. Everyone had to walk. Long Chen saw countless experts as he walked through the streets. He even saw Hall Master level experts just aimlessly wandering. Hall Master level experts were not rare. Kings were everywhere and foundation forging and below were as common as dogs. Long Chen's eyes had truly been opened to the world. Within Grand Xia City, these figures that could shake the outside world were common citizens strolling around. He followed the central street forward, seeing all kinds of buildings. There were quite a few with signboards saying they were from such and such a sect or power. These were buildings that various powers had established in the Grand Xia. Many sects had side businesses in Grand Xia City but whether they were selling or buying things from within their borders, 
they had to pay a certain tax. Regretfully, Long Chen was still unaware of this, but the Zhuangshan Dao sect did not have any businesses in Grand Xia City. They had had such a business many years ago, but recently, the Zhuangshan Dao sect had been unable to make ends meet, and they hadn't had any special things to sell. Setting up a shop in this place was too expensive, so they left. Long Chen asked around, and after an hour of traveling, he appeared at a fork in the road, going right. It wasn't long before he saw a dome. He smiled. Huaian Auction House. When those bright golden words appeared in his eyes, Long Chen knew he had found his target. Walking inside, he directly took out a jade tablet that Shen Wenlong had given him. The owner quickly came to see Long Chen in a private room. This auction house just so happened to be a branch business that Shen Wenlong was in charge of. He knew that these people were all Shen Wenlong's trusted aides, so he didn't waste any time. He directly asked the owner where the original Devil Race's headquarters was. He quickly received a map and saw that it was just a few streets away. When he arrived there, he found out that it was a refinery. This was a refinery business that only made treasure items and below. Within Grand Zaya City that had countless high-level forging places, such a small business would find it difficult even surviving. Its business would be dismal. However, this refinery not only made treasure items and below, but it also made various other items such as furniture. Their craftsmanship was exquisite, and there was the occasional wealthy person with status who wanted to buy some of their wares. Their business didn't look too bad on the surface. Senior, may I help you? Long Chen had only just entered when a maiden seeming to look around 16 years old greeted him. Looking at her, Long Chen sensed an indescribable aura within her eyes. He smiled. Yes, this was the original Devil Race's specific aura. He was very familiar with it. Mishi Ha Wei Ya seeing there were no other guests within the refinery, he quietly whispered to her. Shock filled the maiden's eyes, but she quickly collected herself and said, Come with me. Long Chen followed her deeper into the refinery. They passed all kinds of weapon storehouses before appearing in a large space with dozens of smiths dripping with sweat, right in the midst of forging something. Entering a separate room, a dozen experts were currently chatting while holding weapons in their hands. When Long Chen and the maiden entered, these experts looked at them indifferently, but Long Chen could clearly sense their nervousness. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Suddenly, one of them stood up and looked at Long Chen with delight. You are. Long Chen didn't recognize this person. Did you forget? In the immemorial path, we met when you were with the sacred daughter. Greetings. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Hearing that he was Long Chen, those experts suddenly dropped their weapons kneeling toward him with one knee on the ground and raising their right hands over their chests in an ancient etiquette. There's no need for this, said Long Chen awkwardly. He wasn't used to this kind of etiquette. How could men so easily kneel to others? Long Chen wouldn't kneel to others, so he wasn't able to accept it when others knelt toward him. Senior apprentice brother, the leader has said that you are our benefactor. Everything we have is because of you, so we are eternally grateful, said one of the original devil races experts. Looking at these sincere faces and their eyes that seemed to reveal the depths of their hearts, Long Chen could clearly sense their feelings. He couldn't help but feel emotional. In this world, there weren't that many people who knew how to be grateful. Ever since he had risen in the Phoenix Cry Empire, he had shown grace and favor to countless people. Although he never did that while expecting something in return, some people received other people's kindness and simply treated it as if that was natural, as if other people owed them, compared to them. The original devil races experts gratified him. As long as you remember this in your hearts, it's fine. There's no need to say it with your mouths, or it won't mean as much. Long Chen patted the one who spoke on the shoulder. These were true men worthy of respect. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I should bring you to see the elder. The rest of you, don't delay senior apprentice brother's proper business. The maiden smiled. Ah, you must be busy. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. You should go handle what you need to first. Those experts felt bad for taking up his precious time. All right, then I'll go greet senior first. When I have time, let's drink together. Long Chen smiled and followed the maiden down a twisting corridor. After passing through a secret door, he finally reached a secret room where a man was currently meditating. Only when the door was opened did he slowly open his eyes. Just as he opened his eyes, Long Chen felt like two sharp blades had shot toward him. Although there was no danger, that sharp aura was impossible to conceal. What a powerful expert. And his cultivation base is still at the hall master level. Long Chen was shocked. This person's aura showed he was at the hall master level. 
and yet he was the strongest expert on that level that Long Chen had ever seen. The original devil races Yu Minghan greets our benefactor. This expert also knelt on the ground and took that strange posture just like the others had. Senior, I can't accept this. Long Chen immediately raised him up. He was completely unused to this kind of etiquette. He bitterly smiled. Senior, can we skip this kind of custom? I don't like restrictions, and having so much propriety makes me feel unnatural. The expert stood and smiled faintly. This etiquette must be carried out at least the first time. It's so that we always remember who has helped us. If you don't like it, this etiquette can be waived in the future. Then let's hurry up and waive it. Such a thing takes up too much time and we have real problems to handle. Senior, you, you can call me Seventh Elder. All right, Seventh Elder, I just want to ask, is Zyaoki in here? Long Chen missed her greatly after being apart for so long. That was especially true when he thought of how he had parted with her in the eastern wasteland. Her eyes had been full of tears. He wanted to see her now. After you left the eastern wasteland, Zyaokian returned to the skyscraping world. Under the race leader's arrangements, she entered seclusion and has yet to exit, said the seventh elder. Why would she have to be in seclusion for so long? Long Chen was startled. It had been over a year and she had been in seclusion the entire time? She is in my original devil race's ancestral inheritance land. Before she has condensed a devil core, your so-called jade core realm, she cannot come out. Isn't that crazy? Why must she go all out like this? There are two major realms to go from sea expansion to jade core. Zyaokian is doing it for you. Only once she condenses a devil core will she be able to conceal her identity from the eyes of life star experts. She wishes to reunite with you as soon as possible. This is also why Zyaoyu stopped Zyaokian from going with you to the Central Plains. If she did, constantly being under the eyes of Life Star Realm experts would be extremely dangerous. If they were to do a close examination of her, she would definitely be exposed. Then it would be dangerous for all of you. All right, then I'll just wait for her. Seventh Elder, here are some higher level heavenly Deo fruits I gathered. Those brothers and sisters in the outside world will be a bit safer with them. Long Chen handed the seventh elder a spatial ring. When Long Chen had sent Cloud back to the Zhuanchen Dao sect, he had given it a spatial ring containing the sixth and seventh rank heavenly Dao fruits he had gained this time. There had been six rank seven heavenly Dao fruits gained this time. Two of them had come from the slain hall master level experts. As for the rank six heavenly Dao fruits, they numbered in the hundreds. Right now. He only had a pile of rank 5 and below heavenly Deo fruits, and he gave them all to the 7th elder Novaloon.com he asked about the original devil race's current situation. Right now, they had started spreading throughout the world. Although they didn't dare to openly purchase certain resources, they were gathering several things that the skyscraping world was lacking through various channels. Everything was going well. Long Chen was relieved to hear all this. Saying goodbye, he set off for the wine god palace, but halfway there, he suddenly came to a stop. He sensed a familiar aura. Chapter 1174 Blood Kill Hall Stronghold Translator Born to be Hey, Watch where you're going. You bumped me. Long Chen walked forward quickly and ended up bumped by someone on the road. As a result, he stumbled back, crashing into a wooden-faced man. What are you talking about? You're the one who bumped into me, raged the person who Long Chen had bumped into. But then sensing Long Chen's aura, he swallowed his curses. Long Chen was at Foundation Forging, while he was just at Sea Expansion. Long Chen was one full level higher, and this person had no powerful backer. What am I talking about? I'll tell you what. I'm advancing straight forward, but you came from that doorway and turned left. I'm going straight, but you're turning left. Just who is blind? Long Chen began to solemnly scold the person. At this time, Long Chen's appearance had already been changed by some medicinal extract. When he had crashed into the second person, he had thrown out a tiny bit of colorless, odorless powder that had stuck to the wooden-faced person. As Long Chen scolded the person who had bumped into him, he used his soul to keep watch over the second one. This person suspiciously looked around after Long Chen had crashed into him. For a moment, he stared at the petty little marketplace person who Long Chen seemed to be. He directly left. Left-turners have to yield to people going straight. Understand. What? You don't understand. Fine. I'm too lazy to argue with you. This can count as my compensation. Seeing that the wooden-faced person had already left, Long Chen tossed a medicinal pill to the person he was arguing with and vanished. Don't run. What are you talking about? You're clearly the one who bumped into me. 
And do you think I care about your compensation? Don't think some money. What the fuck? A nine ring foundation building pill. It really must be nice having money. Hey, don't go just yet. Brother, do you want to keep bumping into me? Seeing the foundation building pill, he immediately tried to suck up to Long Chen, but he had long since vanished. Long Chen used some faint fluctuations to follow the wooden faced man from a distance. He knew that he was an assassin from the Blood Kill Hall. Having been targeted by them for a long time and after interacting with them for so long, the nine star hegemon body art would automatically sense them once they got close, whether or not they wanted to kill him. That was why Long Chen had used a secret method to place a mark on him without anyone being the wiser. This mark couldn't possibly be sensed by others, because it was made from the primal chaos space's soil and dust. Only Long Chen could sense it. Hmm? How sly. He's starting to loop around. Long Chen suddenly stopped because he sensed something was wrong. He decided to hide in a tea house and drink tea. He sensed the assassin loop around the surroundings five times before walking in a certain direction. He didn't sense me. It's just a professional habit. Seeing him pay attention to all the surrounding people, Long Chen knew he was making sure no one was following him. In the end, he entered a narrow alley that eventually led to a casino. Inside, there were countless people. These shameful people actually used a casino to hide their identity. Long Chen smiled coldly. He wiped off his disguise, revealing his true face, and also walked in. Sir, do you have an appointment, or are you just dropping in? As soon as Long Chen walked in, an enthusiastic woman came to greet him, one wearing very revealing clothes. The makeup on her face was practically as thick as a copper coin, and just speaking caused the makeup powder to fall but the most exaggerated thing was the slit in her dress. Most dresses would only show the lower leg. Even the women in brothels would only show their upper leg at most. But the slit in her dress continued all the way to her armpit. She looked to be in her 30s, and she was not a cultivator. This casino was very low-end. It catered to some low-level cultivators and gamblers. A person's youth never returned, and these people had no choice but to rely on gambling to make money. It wasn't easy for them. I've come to find someone. You can busy yourself. Long Chen tossed her ten gold coins, delighting her. As for the hired thugs guarding the door, seeing that Long Chen was this generous with his money and didn't seem like he would cause trouble, they ignored him. Long Chen was suddenly struck by the stench of alcohol, sweat, and feet. As he advanced, he quickly saw a man look at him with shock. That man suddenly extended a hand to touch the wall. A blood-colored saber cut off his arm. His hand had been just a few inches from touching a button on the wall but it fell to the ground. Quite a few people in the casino screamed and ran. The first thing they thought was that someone had come to destroy the casino. That person immediately slammed his other hand toward the button, but as a result, the blood-colored saber once more slashed out, cutting off his other arm. This button was used for ringing the alarm. Long Chen lazily rested blood drinker on his shoulder. Let me give you an idea. If you don't have your arms, you can try it with your head. The reason Long Chen had exposed his true face upon entering the casino was because he had wanted to accurately tell who was from the Blood Kill Hall. He knew that any members of the Blood Kill Hall had to recognize him. The facts proved that he was right, because this person was only at the blood condensation realm. He hadn't sensed anything from him because he wasn't even a real assassin. He could only count as an outer worker of the Blood Kill Hall and hadn't cultivated in the Blood Kill Hall's assassination arts. A berserk expression appeared in that person's eyes and his throat suddenly bulged as he prepared to shout. However, he didn't succeed. Blood splashed through the air. In your next life, don't get brainwashed by others. Long Chen shook his head. He pointed a finger at the bodiless head. Taking advantage of when his soul had yet to scatter, he completed an instantaneous soul sark. Long Chen walked along the wall and found a side door. Entering, he saw a passage that led outside. It looked like an ordinary back door, but on the wall of this passage, from a place where the gamblers in the casino had no clear line of sight. Long Chen pressed down three times. A door suddenly opened in the wall. This stone door seamlessly blended into the wall. Even if you were to look carefully, you wouldn't be able to tell it existed without opening it. Once he walked in, the stone door immediately closed. The path in front of him continued downwards. With blood drinker on his shoulder, Long Chen continued onward through the underground passage. You. PFFT. One of the Blood Kill Hall's disciples just happened to be walking out from further in when he saw Long Chen. He only got one word out before being killed. A foundation forging expert fell just like that. Who's there? The disturbance immediately caused an alarm. 
and quite a few people came out from deeper in the passageway. Long Chen raised his left hand and pointed his finger. Lightning arrow shot out. Those Blood Kill Hall disciples had no ability to dodge within this narrow passageway. They were all blown apart. All you're capable of is sneak attacking people from behind. In a head-on fight. You're just pigs. Sneered Long Chen. Suddenly, a fierce astral wind attacked Long Chen. This attack should have come from a king. Split the heavens three. Boom. The underground passageway collapsed. A berserk energy raged through the exploding ground, and it was unknown how many of the Blood Kill Hall's experts were killed without even knowing what was going on. The sudden explosion of the ground and powerful auras startled all of Grand Zaya City. Countless experts rushed over to see what was happening. The ruins exploded, and one of the Blood Kill Hall's kings charged out. Before he could even understand what was happening, a lightning arrow struck his body, causing it to explode. Suddenly, a bolt of light stabbed toward Long Chen's back. As for Long Chen, he was still standing with Blood Drinker resting on his shoulder. Just at this moment, a hand covered in green scales caught the sword aiming for his back. The Blood Kill Hall's king's expression changed. He pulled several times but was unable to retrieve his sword. Suddenly, his sword began to shine with blinding light. Are you an idiot? Do you think I just stand here and let you activate your king item? Long Chen sneered, hacking Blood Drinker down and killing the king. The king didn't even have a corpse after Blood Drinker struck him. In truth, this move of Long Chen's had been very evil. He had intentionally forced the king into despair and then left him time to activate his king item. And just as he did, Long Chen attacked, making it so the king had no idea whether he should continue or abandon his weapon and flee. Caught in his indecision, he was killed easily. At this time, countless experts stood in the surroundings, looking at Long Chen with shock. He dared to fight in Grand Xia City? Did he not want his life? It had to be known that it was forbidden to use force in Grand Xia City. Not even flying was permitted. The thing that shocked them the most was that Long Chen was clearly at the early foundation forging realm. But he had killed a king so easily and without even batting an eye. The runes below exploded. And a miserable figure shot out. It was a white-haired elder with an aura that surged turbulently. A soul transformation expert. The experts drawn over were shocked. A soul transformation expert was a hall master level expert, but outside of sects, people called them according to their realm. These people were shocked to see this expert's aura fluctuating extremely intensely. Oh, I'm so sorry, it seems I've disturbed your seclusion. My sincere apologies. Long Chen apologized without the slightest sincerity as he looked at the expert's aura that was constantly jumping up and down out of control. Long Chen PFFT, the elder was startled to see that it was Long Chen and he ended up directly coughing up blood. He had been in seclusion attacking a barrier when Long Chen's attack had disturbed him. Being forced out of his meditative state almost caused his cultivation base to flare out of his control. He had almost died. Die. The Blood Kill Hall soul transformation expert roared and stabbed his sword into the sky. An ear-piercing sound rang out as he slashed his sword at Long Chen. Chapter 1175 Battle in the Ancient Capital Translator Born to be Long Chen didn't dare to be careless against a soul transformation expert. He slashed Blood Drinker out, unleashing a huge saber image. Right now, he didn't have the Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pills effect multiplying his power, and he would be at an immense disadvantage against a soul transformation expert. But the reason he dared to attack one of the Blood Kill Hall's strongholds on his own was naturally because he had something else he could count on. Long Chen repeatedly unleashed dozens of saber images that crashed against the Blood Kill Hall Soul Transformation Expert Sword. Heaven shaking explosions rang out. Just one slash of the Soul Transformation Expert Sword shattered all his saber images. But because of the saber image's power, the Soul Transformation Expert's locking power faded, and Long Chen regained his freedom. You damn brat, I'll tear you apart limb by limb, roared the Soul Transformation Expert. His hair was standing on end, his eyes were red and he looked insane. Right now, he needed to suppress the turbulent spiritual Yuan inside his body while also fighting Long Chen. His combat power was less than a third of his peak, and with his aura out of his control, he couldn't lock down his opponent. Otherwise, if a soul transformation expert unleashed their immense pressure, a foundation forging disciple like Long Chen would find themselves unable to move and be instantly killed. But now, he needed to spend a great deal of effort just to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Long Chen. Most hateful of all, because he had been startled right at the critical moment when he had been attacking the next barrier. His aura was completely chaotic, and there were signs it was starting to go completely out of his control. Old idiot, 
What are you screaming for? Your blood kill hall has been targeting me for many years. But did I ever shout like this? Grow up a bit. All I did was take the initiative to attack you first this time. Sneered Long Chen. Long Chen could already tell what was going on with this elder. Originally, he had been thinking of running. But now it seemed he didn't need to. Long Chen repeatedly unleashed saber images to keep his opponent back. He refused to face him head on and kept on sending Saber Key as he dodged. He's from the Bloodkill Hall. Several people in the crowd saw through some clues. The Bloodkill Hall actually dared to stay within Grand Zaya City? Are they trying to be killed? 1800 years ago, the Bloodkill Hall assassinated one of the Grand Zaya's princes. At that time, the Grand Zaya announced that any of the Bloodkill Hall's people found in their territory would be put to death. The spectating people couldn't help but discuss things as Long Chen fought against the Bloodkill Hall's soul transformation expert. The little alley they had first appeared in had long since been destroyed. But the surrounding buildings were protected by powerful formation runes. And despite the two of them unleashing Saber Key and Sword Key, their attacks actually rebounded on contact with the buildings. This was the Grand Zaya's powerful foundation. Each of their ancient buildings was protected. They were incredibly difficult to destroy. Furthermore, the ancient buildings were linked to the Imperial Palace's Grand Formation. If the buildings were attacked by Supreme Experts, the Grand Formation would activate, and then even a Soul Transformation Expert would be unable to damage them, unless that Soul Transformation Expert possessed a Divine Item. As for someone like the Bloodkill Hall Soul Transformation Expert, let alone in his current state where his power was just a third of what it was normally, he wouldn't be able to damage the buildings even in his peak state. Who is that youngster? What terrifying battle senses and experience. Long Chen and the soul transformation expert were so fast that it was almost impossible to track them with the naked eye. The Bloodkill Hall's expert's moves were refined and vicious, as well as strange and crafty. There were many times when he would launch a sudden attack from Long Chen's blind spot which made the spectators' hearts shiver. Although the Bloodkill Hall is a group of shameful people, their assassination arts are truly supreme. Even though he's fighting head-on, he still has such crafty moves that could easily catch a person off guard and kill them. Sighed another soul transformation expert. More and more people were coming. And even the soul transformation experts were moved by the battle. These assassins moves were different from ordinary people's. Each of them was deadly. And sometimes several of his moves would be a continuous death trap. Just watching him fight made people's hearts pound. If they weren't personally watching. No one would dare to believe there could be such sharp and terrifying killing arts. And yet. No matter how sharp his moves were, no matter how crafty his attacks were, Long Chen would dodge them with the lightning body blink. Lightning runes revolved around him as he always just narrowly dodged his opponent's killing blows. Quite a few people were watching while sweating profusely for Long Chen. It looked like Long Chen was dancing on the tip of a blade. He might die at any moment, but Long Chen's expression was still indifferent, and there wasn't the slightest fear or panic in his eyes. He moved smoothly like the clouds in the air or water flowing in the river. He advanced and retreated, attacked and defended without the slightest awkwardness. That indifferent expression made people's scalps numb. But it was also exciting to watch. Do you only know how to run? Roared the Bloodkill Hall expert. He had attacked Long Chen multiple times only to be skillfully evaded by him. Long Chen refused to face him head on, infuriating him endlessly. He already knew that he would die today. Now that the Bloodkill Hall secret stronghold had been exposed, considering their enmity with the Grand Zaya, it would be very difficult for him to run. But before dying, his only desire was to kill Long Chen and remove a scourge with limitless potential for the Bloodkill Hall. News that Bloodkill 19 had failed and instead been killed by Long Chen had already reached the headquarters of the Bloodkill Hall. Right now, Long Chen was classified as their number one target. Considering how even some outer workers could recognize Long Chen. It could be seen just how great Long Chen's fame was in the Bloodkill Hall. This secret stronghold's purpose had been to keep watch over the Grand Zaya's movements. The Bloodkill Hall also offered to sell some information in addition to assassinating people. This was the Bloodkill Hall's specialty. That was because assassinating a person required knowing their status, cultivation base, strengths, habits, etc. They would even go through their family history. So selling information was also an important business of the Bloodkill Hall. But for them to have established a secret stronghold right within Grand Zaya City was a huge slap in the face to the Grand Zaya ancient nation. But these assassins were also smart. They were profoundly aware of what it meant to hide within the dark beneath the light. They established themselves right in the Imperial Capital. 
and no one except Long Chen had sensed them for hundreds of years. Do you have any face left? Could it be that all your years of cultivation were spent on thickening your skin? You are a soul transformation expert and yet you're attacking me. A mere foundation forging rookie. That's innately shameful. Moreover, you're actually unable to do anything to me. And so you use psychological warfare against me. A junior who is not even a fraction of your age. I, Long Chen, started cultivating quite a few years ago. But I've never seen someone as shameless as you. Cursed Long Chen. Long Chen could see the huge problem with his opponent, and he knew continuing to exhaust him was the best option. However, Long Chen hadn't expected him to be so shameless as to goad him into fighting head-on against him. Was he joking? The distant spectators also looked at him oddly. The fellow soul transformation experts had helpless expressions. This blood kill hall expert had lost face for them as fellow soul transformation experts. But then thinking about it. They supposed attacking people from behind was the natural habit of the assassins of the Blood Kill Hall. For their goals, they didn't care about the methods. And that was why the Blood Kill Hall was held in great contempt by most people. Being assassins in itself wasn't a fault. But they simply had no bottom line at all. That was what was despicable. At this time, a handsome man in violet robes was escorted over with a group of experts. He appeared to be around 25 years old and he was currently watching Long Chen's intense battle against the Blood Kill Hall's expert. Your Highness, should we go and capture the Blood Kill Hall's expert? They really go too far, said a middle-aged man beside that man. There's no need. Let's just watch for a bit. I'm very interested in this Long Chen. That man shook his head. This man was the Grand Xia's eighth prince, Xia Yanchang. The people around him were his guards, and two of them had reached the soul transformation realm. Other than the guards, a white-haired elder was standing beside Xia Yanchang. This elder's eyes had been closed in meditation this entire time, as if nothing in the outside world could interest him. Master, what do you think about this Long Chen? Asked Xia Yanchang respectfully. Only then did the elder open his eyes. Shockingly, his eyes were completely turbid like an old man's. And yet, they also seemed to contain a certain primal energy. The elder looked at Long Chen's figure. The turbidness in his eyes gradually faded like dirty water was being purified. The elder slowly said, I cannot see through him. After saying that, the elder closed his eyes once more. But then he said one last thing. Do your best not to offend him. Xia Yanchang and the guard were all startled. Just who was this Long Chen to obtain such a terrifying appraisal? It had to be known that this elder was Xia Yanchang's Dao protector. He was an incredibly powerful existence and yet he was unable to give an evaluation of this youth in front of him, and in the end, he even told them not to offend him Novaloon.com master, said Xia Yanchang. The elder's eyes were still closed as he cut him off. The world's countless existences exist within the heavenly deos, but there are a few existences that cannot be spoken of. Disciple understands. Xia Yanchang's heart shook and he hastily bowed. The elder nodded and no longer spoke. His eyes were still closed as if he was meditating. He didn't possess the slightest aura, and if you weren't looking at him, you might not even be able to sense his existence. Blood Kill Hall, how brazen of you. Do you think my grand Zaya has no one who can handle you? Just as Long Chen was fighting the soul transformation expert, a beautiful figure appeared in the air. Why would she come here? Zaya Yanchang couldn't help but frown. Chapter 1176 17th Princess Translator Born to be just as Long Chen was fighting the Blood Kill Hall soul transformation expert, a woman appeared in the air, her colorful robes floating around her, filled with an air of refinement. She had bright eyes and white teeth, shapely eyebrows and cherry lips. She was definitely an extremely beautiful woman, but her lips were a bit thin and raised upward slightly. On the surface, she looked like a powerful, obstinate woman. Furthermore, she possessed a kind of inherent air of nobility and arrogance. There was a simple but multicolored sword sheathed by her waist. Her powerful aura showed she was a late foundation forging expert. Took them long enough. Long Chen immediately shouted, Little sister, please help me. I worked so hard for the Grand Xia in order to find this stronghold of the Blood Kill Hall. You should know. To find it, I started following their tracks with all my might over 30 years ago. And all my bitter work has finally borne fruit today. Little sister, quick, capture this shameless thug. The reason Long Chen dared to fight in Grand Xia City was because when he had been drinking with Qi Hao, he had learned many things pertaining to the Grand Xia. He had learned of the Grand Xia's enmity with the Blood Kill Hall at that time, and after all, it was no secret amongst the commoners within the Grand Xia. 
So despite knowing there would very likely be a soul transformation expert present, he hadn't been afraid. Even if he couldn't beat them, he could run. As long as he reached the large streets, he refused to believe the Grand Zaya would ignore him. Now seeing this woman's attire and air, he knew she was definitely from the Imperial family. Who is your little sister? I am the Grand Zaya's 17th princess, Zaya Yaluo. She frowned with a bit of irritation. That's not important. Little sister princess, quickly stop him. I can't hold on much longer. Is the Grand Zaya ancient nation willing to see someone who has made great national contributions die to the blood kill hall's hands? My death won't matter. But what about the justice of the Grand Zaya? Wouldn't my death become a stain on the Grand Zaya's honor that could never be washed off? Shouted Long Chen as he dodged the blood kill hall expert's attacks. You. Fine. I'll handle him first before punishing your rudeness. The 17th princess snorted. She began to form hand seals. An immense pressure suddenly descended causing countless experts' expressions to change. She, she's a rank 8 celestial. You must be an outsider. It's well known that the 17th princess is a martial genius, an innate rank 8 celestial who fully awakened by the age of 18, with her cultivation base at the 8th heaven stage of foundation forging. Her power is so immense that practically everyone in the Grand Zaya knows of it, said a native expert proudly. Just as heaven and earth were rumbling and the void trembled, Endless heavenly Deo energy condensed into a sea of runes behind Zaya Yaluo. Eight blazing runes appeared, looking like stars. They formed an octagon, slowly revolving behind her. The distant spectators found it hard to breathe under this pressure. Even kings were slowly retreating as they found the pressure unbearable. Heavens, the manifestation of a rank eight celestial. Eight stars illuminate the cosmos shocked cries rang out. Although many people had heard the Grand Zaya's 17th princess was an innate rank 8 celestial with immense power, they had never personally seen it. Seeing this terrifying manifestation shook them to their cores. Face your death. Zaya Yaluo suddenly drew her sword. A stunning ray of light slashed at the Blood Kill Hall soul transformation expert. Boom. The Blood Kill Hall expert had no choice but to stop attacking Long Chen. Hastily blocking, he smashed into a large pagoda, and due to its barrier, he rebounded and coughed up blood. Damn, how fierce Long Chen was shocked. This was the power of a rank 8 celestial? It was truly terrifying. Such a powerful attack could practically instantly kill a rank 7 celestial like Hans Henayu. Damn it. All of you can die. Killing God. Protect me. Blood kill soul condensation. The blood kill hall expert roared. And an image appeared on his forehead. It was a small human figure that was being incinerated. But in that instant. His fluctuating spiritual Yuan instantly became calm. Heavens, he's igniting his Yuan spirit. Shocked cries rang out. The Blood Kill Hall's experts had two specialties. Their assassination ability and their fleeing ability. Their ability in both skills was evenly matched. If they failed to kill their target, they would instantly flee a thousand miles away. The Blood Kill Hall expert had originally had a little bit of hope that he could escape after killing Long Chen. If he abandoned his physical body and used a secret art. He estimated he had a 30% chance of his Yuan spirit getting away. But now he was forced to change plans. He couldn't even think about running. He wanted to eliminate Xia Yaoluo and Long Chen right here in order to remove two threats for the Blood Kill Hall. It went without saying that the Blood Kill Hall's assassins were extremely devout to their killing god. Having ignited his Yuan spirit, the Blood Kill Hall expert forcibly stabilized his spiritual Yuan, instantly restoring his combat power. His sword slashed into Zaya Yaluo's sword, causing a huge explosion. The two of them were both forced back. This exchange had actually ended in a draw, shocking all the nearby soul transformation experts. An innate rank 8 celestial's name was definitely not fake. Princess is mighty. Raise the Grand Zaya's prestige. Fill the sky with light. Kill the old ghost of the Blood Kill Hall. Long Chen raised Blood Drinker high into the air to cheer for Zaya Yaluo. At this time, countless people had gathered. Amongst them were quite a few youngsters who looked at the princess's figure with adoration. Hey, how can you guys not give me face? Do you not know how to cooperate? The princess is fighting as hard as she can to kill the old ghost from the blood kill hall. And as citizens of the Grand Zaya, you don't even dare to cheer for her? What are you afraid of? Embarrassing yourself? Losing face? If you're afraid of everything, why do you even cultivate? If you're going to be such worry wards, how are you even youngsters? What happened to your youthful drive, your hot blood? If you worship her, then shout loudly. If you adore her, then shout even louder. Let me hear your voices. Everyone together, princesses mighty, raise the Grand Zaya's prestige. 
Fill the sky with light. Kill the old ghost of the blood kill hall. Shouted Long Chen. Princess is mighty. Raise the Grand Xia's prestige. Fill the sky with light. Kill the old ghost of the blood kill hall. Princess is mighty. Raise the Grand Xia's prestige. Fill the sky with light. Kill the old ghost of the blood kill hall. Princess is mighty. Raise the Grand Xia's prestige. Fill the sky with light. Kill the old ghost of the blood kill hall. The first time, there were a few hundred people following along. The second time, there were thousands. And the third time, anyone who was even slightly young was shouting as loud as they could. They suddenly realized that cheering with everyone gave them an indescribable pleasure. The youngsters adored the 17th princess. But before this, they hadn't dared to say anything. Afraid of being laughed at or mocked by others. They felt like they would be a toad trying to eat swan meat. But under the leadership of a shameless fellow like Long Chen, their throats bulged as they shouted. No one laughed at anyone. Instead, they felt like the more effort they put into shouting, the more manly they were. The cheering grew louder and louder until it practically drowned out the sound of their battle. Within the crowd, Xia Yanchang watched the young cultivators shouting as loudly as they could as if they had been given drugs. He found it almost inconceivable. Even the reserved men of Grand Xia would start shouting in the streets like this? He couldn't believe it. Countless people were drawn over from farther away. The aura of the battle was covered by the formations, making it difficult to spread farther. But this cheering spread far and wide. Even the 17th princess, Xia Yaoluo, hadn't thought she would possess such a great skill in rallying supporters. The countless cheers made even her blood heat up a bit. She attacked all out, but the blood kill hall expert had ignited his Yuan spirit and was overdrafting his life. Xia Yaoluo was actually being forced back slowly. Hey, are you just going to shout? Hurry up and help. As Long Chen watched the scene from the air, he suddenly received a spiritual message from Xia Yaoluo. Me? But I can't beat him. Long Chen was surprised. She was the Grand Xia's princess, and countless experts were watching. Why didn't she ask them for help instead? If they interfere, what about my face? Hurry up. I need you to stall him a bit. He's not letting me unleash any big moves, said Xia Yaoluo. How long will it take you to store up energy? I won't be able to stall him for too long. Let me tell you, if you let me die, it'll become an unwashable stain to the Grand Xia, warned Long Chen. Long Chen hadn't expected this princess to be so powerful and obstinate. She actually didn't want other experts interfering in her battle. But Long Chen also didn't want to expose his trump cards. However, without using them, facing a soul transformation expert would be courting death. Stop wasting words. I just need you to stall him for a few breaths. Furthermore, you're not permitted to tell anyone that I asked for help, said Xia Yaoluo. Long Chen muttered to himself. Why does it seem like all the benefits will be going to you, and I'm simply forced to keep your secret? Fine, I'll just keep it confidential. Long Chen simply wanted an important figure of the blood kill hall to die in order to vent. As for other benefits, he didn't particularly care. Divine Ring, Four Star Battle Armor, Chapter 1177 Soaring Cloud Death Blow Translator, Born to be Heaven and Earth shook as a four-colored ring soared into the sky. The Divine Ring unleashed immense pressure. So much so that even the formations on the buildings were unable to dispel it. At the same time, four stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes. His 108,000 immortal platforms began to quiver, giving him boundless energy. It was like a dragon awakening, like a volcano erupting. With Long Chen at the center, waves of ki soared into the sky. Long Chen looked like a battle god floating within heaven and earth now. What cultivation technique is this? The white-haired elder opened his eyes looking at the divine ring with shock. At this moment, Long Chen was untouched by the Dao. None of the laws or Daos of heaven and earth were able to adhere to him. It was unknown whether he isolated himself from heaven or earth, or whether heaven and earth isolated him. The other thing that shocked the white-haired elder was this domineering will soaring out of Long Chen's bones, that will seem to be dissatisfied by heaven and earth's restrictions and wanted to shatter its way through. Everyone looked at Long Chen like he was a monster. The manifestation Long Chen had summoned wasn't something they had ever seen or heard of. The most shocking thing was that Long Chen's power was not forming a resonance with the heavenly Deos. In other words, he wasn't even a celestial. Let me first tell you, my moves are only used to frighten people. You should hurry up, because if I do die, I'll become a ghost and haunt you every night, said Long Chen to Xia Yaoluo. Just as Xia Yaoluo jumped in shock from Long Chen's aura, Long Chen shot out. A kind of undefeatable aura surged out of him as if he was a god who had come to the mortal world. 
But when Long Chen's voice rang in her head, his undefeatable image in Xia Yao's mind vanished like a wisp of smoke. What kind of unrevealed expert would say such a thing? I know. Hurry up, said Xia Yao. Old ghost from the Blood Kill Hall. For the justice of the world. For the citizens of the Grand Xia. For the peace in the Central Plains. For my brothers and sisters watching. Taste one of my attacks. Long Chen raised his saber, unleashed a huge saber image that tore through the clouds, and then slashed down on the Blood Kill Hall expert. What? Isn't this the heaven splitting battle sect split the heavens? So he was one of the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples. Countless people let out startled cries. The heaven splitting battle sect's nine forms of split the heavens were famous, and they were widely known for their domineering and fierce power. Anyone who had seen one of the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples attacking would be able to instantly tell when someone was using split the heavens, other than its specific movements. Only the nine forms of split the heaven possessed a fierce will to slash through the dome of the sky. It was as if the nine forms of split the heavens were moves designed to strive against the heavens. Countless people instantly recognized what move Long Chen was using. This huge saber image slashed down with an undefeatable will. As someone with immense battle experience, Long Chen timed his blow extremely well. It was just as the Blood Kill Hall expert exchanged a head-on blow with Xia Yaoluo, when he had already used his energy but had yet to gather more energy for a second attack. The Blood Kill Hall expert almost coughed up blood upon seeing this move. Long Chen was incredibly despicable. He couldn't even counterattack in his current state. He could only take it. Boom. The Blood Kill Hall expert was blown back. He crashed against the barrier of a building and rebounded back coughing up a mouthful of blood. This shocked people. Long Chen's attack was actually so powerful that it made this soul transformation expert cough up blood? Even Xia Yaoluo's terrifying attacks hadn't had such an effect. Didn't this mean Long Chen was even more powerful than Xia Yaoluo? In truth, this move was just the third form of Split the Heavens, and it managed to send the Blood Kill Hall expert flying because Long Chen had timed it perfectly. This move was far from enough to cause him to cough up blood. It wasn't enough to cause any injury at all. The reason he had coughed up blood was entirely from anger. This move was just that despicable. Brat. Die. With blood covering his chest. The blood kill hall expert seemed to go insane. As an assassin. Cool headedness was a must. But he had already ignited the majority of his Yuan spirit. And his consciousness was already starting to fade. His emotions were a mess. So it made it far easier to anger him. Right now. All he wanted was to kill Long Chen. He roared furiously like a crazed bull and charged at Long Chen, slashing his sword down. This sword looked completely ordinary and didn't even have any runes around it, but that was actually even more terrifying. All its energy had been condensed, like a huge amount of gunpowder had been packed inside it, waiting to explode when it slashed through an enemy. Long Chen snorted and stabbed Blood Drinker straight at the Blood Kill Hall expert. It looked like he was using a suicidal move to kill his opponent, causing everyone to jump. Haha, <laughs> are you trying to scare me? I've killed countless people, and I've long since grown tired of living. Let's go ahead and die together. The Blood Kill Hall expert laughed in the face of Long Chen's suicidal thrust. The path of his sword didn't change. Although Long Chen's saber had the advantage when it came to length, it didn't matter. If his saber struck him, Long Chen definitely wouldn't be able to dodge his sword. They would definitely both die. Xia Yaoluo was in the midst of forming one-handed seals in the air. A golden rune had appeared on her forehead, and powerful fluctuations spread from her fierce sword key. She was preparing one of her ultimate moves, but she still needed more time. Hence, she was shocked to see Long Chen use such a move and cursed him for being stupid inside. If he died, the Grand Xia's reputation would fall, but just panicking had no use. Just as their two weapons began to pass by each other, the tip of Long Chen's saber lightly touched the point of the Blood Kill Hall expert's sword. A soft energy transferred through. The Blood Kill Hall expert's expression completely changed. He hadn't expected Long Chen's control over his energy to have reached such a terrifying level. His incredibly fierce power instantly transformed to become gentle. The soft power brushed his sword to the side without letting his sword's energy erupt. Now he was completely open and still moving toward Long Chen. Fool. Who would die with you? Fuck off. Pow. After moving aside the Blood Kill Hall expert's sword. Long Chen slapped him hard across the face. He shot back like a shooting star. The direction he was slapped into was right at Xia Yaoluo. She had just finished preparing her move, and it was like Long Chen was intentionally sending him to her. Soaring cloud death blow. Xia Yaoluo's sword slashed down. There was no sword light. 
People could only vaguely see a black crack appear in space. The blood kill hall expert was struck by the black crack and instantly blew apart, turning into nothing more than dust that dissipated in the air. Even his Yuan spirit was killed. What a strange power. Long Chen saw it clearly. The energy contained within her sword was something he had never seen before. It was incredibly sharp, as if nothing could block its path. Even the blood kill hall expert's king item shattered. But Xia Yaoluo's eyes rapidly dimmed after using this move. Although that light quickly recovered, Long Chen knew that she had paid a heavy price to use this move. She was just acting fine. Haha, <laughs> princess is mighty and domineering. I still have some things to do, so I'll leave first. If I have a chance in the future, I'll treat princess to a meal, said Long Chen as he turned to leave. Hold, who said you could leave? Xia Yaoluo looked at Long Chen curiously. She had felt like something was off the entire time. Now seeing him wanting to leave so hastily, she became even more sure something was fishy. Princess, could it be you want to treat me to the meal instead? I accept your kindness, but I just ate, so let's pick another day. At that time, I'll properly enjoy your grand Zaya's hospitality, said Long Chen. Long Chen didn't want to get close to her. She didn't seem like someone easy to get along with. Although his little dabbler face reading arts were just used to trick others, he could tell a person's general character in just a glance. This woman was probably even more obstinate than Tang Wan or there was no point in torturing himself. What is going on here? You want to just leave without saying a word? Don't you think you need to give us a clear explanation? Xia Yaoluo didn't want to let Long Chen leave. She looked around and then pointed at the ruins on the ground from the collapsed tunnel. She wanted to bring Long Chen to an investigation. She continued to feel like something was strange about Long Chen, but she wasn't able to pinpoint what exactly. Although the Blood Kill Hall Soul Transformation Expert had been killed by her, she still felt uncomfortable inside. So she wanted to find an excuse to keep Long Chen. However, she spent most of her time cultivating and wasn't socially skilled. And so she used the thing she was most comfortable with. Her status as a princess. To hold Long Chen accountable. What is there to explain? I found the Blood Kill Hall stronghold. And for the Grand Zaya's honor, I risked my life to provoke them. Making them cause such a huge disturbance so that you could come and capture them. Was there something wrong with that? Long Chen shrugged. But you, you could have reported it, and we could have handled it from there, quibbled Xia Yaoluo. Princess, are you joking? Since the Blood Kill Hall dared to operate right in the capital of Grand Zaya, do you think they wouldn't prepare themselves? They have countless external workers. How many eyes do they have amongst the peddlers you passed on your way here? By the time your people arrived, they'd have long since run. My method was the only right choice. Long Chen shook his head. Xia Yaoluo had turned red to her ears from Long Chen's arguments. She was unable to outtalk Long Chen, and she angrily said, I don't care. No matter what, you have to come back with us. There are many things I need to inquire about. Long Chen couldn't help being speechless. Now even such completely unreasonable words came out of her mouth. Just at this moment, a group of people walked over with Xia Yanchong at the front. Chapter 1178 Willful Princess Translator Born to be so you must be world-renowned Long Chen. Am I right, Brother Long? Xia Yanchong had no choice but to reveal himself. He understood this little sister of his the best. She shared a father with him but a different mother. If he allowed her to continue like this, it was unknown just how much she would embarrass herself. He rushed out and cupped his fists to Long Chen. I wouldn't dare to call myself world-renowned. May I ask who you are? Long Chen's heart shook upon seeing this man. He sensed he was also an extremely terrifying fellow. Furthermore, he had two soul transformation experts as guards. As for the elder with his eyes closed, although none of his aura leaked out, Long Chen could still sense he was someone who had probably reached the same level as the Zuan master. Such a terrifying lineup shocked Long Chen. This was truly badass. Xia Yanchong said, This humble soul is the Grand Xia. What's the point of so many words? He is the Grand Xia's eighth prince. Xia Yanchong. My big brother, hurry up and come with us, said Xia Yaoluo impatiently upon seeing them waste time going through pleasantries. Being interrupted by Xia Yaoluo, Xia Yanchong awkwardly said, Cough, Brother Long, how about we switch locations before talking? This place isn't very convenient. Since Brother Xia is inviting me, I wouldn't dare to refuse. Long Chen smiled. This Xia Yanchong seemed much easier to get along with. Each of his movements was refined and natural. Long Chen felt it would be easier to talk with this man than an obstinate woman like Xia Yaoluo. 
So he gladly agreed. Xia Yaoluo's expression grew a bit unsightly upon seeing Long Chen agree to Xia Yanchong's invitation so quickly. Long Chen hadn't given her any face. She frowned and was just about to flare up. Take note of your image. The elder suddenly frowned and icily opened his mouth. This elder's status was extremely special. Even the obstinate 17th princess immediately shut her mouth. She pouted and her eyes turned red. That aggrieved expression looked like she was about to cry. Brother Long, let's go back to my humble home, said Xia Yanchong hastily. One of the soul transformation experts waved a hand, and one of the surrounding buildings unleashed a wave of light that covered them all. They disappeared from the spectator's sight. Long Chen and the others had only just left when workers came to clean up the damage. The spectators scattered, but today, other than seeing the beauty and power of the 17th princess, they had also learned of another name, Long Chen, a monster who wasn't even a celestial but possessed incredible battle prowess. Long Chen was brought to an open flower garden. All kinds of rare flowers grew here, their fragrance washing over them. There were four maidens wearing palace-made clothes who were quietly standing within a pavilion. But these maids had actually reached the foundation forging realm. Quickly prepare some wine and food. Use the standards of a national banquet, said Xia Yanchong to the maids. They were startled to hear such a thing, but they quickly left. The guards following Xia Yanchong were also dismissed. Master, why don't you stay and drink a few cups? It's been a long time since we've drunk together, said Xia Yanchong respectfully. An old man like me won't participate in a gathering of youngsters. The elder shook his head and vanished without the slightest spatial fluctuation. It was like he had simply merged with heaven and earth. HMPH. He finally left. Xia Yaoluo immediately cheered like a bird that had been stuck in its cage for a long time and had finally regained its freedom. She immediately started making things hard on Long Chen. Long Chen, I demand to know why you refused to come when I invited you. But as soon as he did, you immediately agreed. Xia Yaoluo glared at Long Chen stiffly. She demanded a perfect explanation. Long Chen's actions had clearly irritated her, and now that the elder had gone, she once more became brazen. Yaoluo, don't make trouble. If you keep acting like this, I'll report you to our imperial father, said Xia Yanchong. You, you're mean. I wasn't even doing anything to you. You weren't like this before. You're all bad men bullying me. What Long Chen had never expected was for the incredibly powerful Xia Yaoluo to actually start sobbing. He was flabbergasted. Seeing Long Chen's stunned expression, Xia Yanchong was embarrassed. Xia Yaoluo was his younger sister, and even as a child, she had gotten along best with him. She often threw tantrums, and whatever happened, she would always ask him to stand up for her. He truly did love and pamper her. Yaoluo, you're already so old. You can't keep acting like this. Xia Yanchong was at a loss. Now that I'm old, you don't want me anymore. You don't love me anymore, right? Our imperial father doesn't love me, the imperial mother doesn't love me, and now even you don't love me. That's the most painful thing. Xia Yaoluo's face was covered in tears. Looking at her would truly make a person's heart clench. All right, stop. I still love you, so stop crying. Xia Yanchong patted Xia Yaoluo on the back. But you're still so mean to me, saying that you'll report me. Fine, I won't report you. I won't be mean to you. It's Big Brother's fault. Okay said Xia Yanchong helplessly. Really? He, I just knew Big Brother loved me the most. Long Chen, I demand to know why you wouldn't accept my invitation, but immediately came when Big Brother invited you. Xia Yaoluo's face was still covered in crystalline tears, but she had a smile of victory on her face. You, Xia Yanchong almost exploded in fury. He had once more fallen for her trap. Big Brother, why are you so petty? I'm just asking a question. Do you need to stare at me like this? Said Xia Yaoluo. Long Chen was now sure that this 17th princess was a child who had been spoiled rotten. He couldn't help finding it a bit funny. But their brother and sister relationship did move him. In the imperial palace where all relationships were complicated and only used for one's advancement. There were plenty of cases of sons killing fathers or brothers fighting over profits. Brother Long. I. Xia Yanchong was also helpless. Oh. It's fine. The 17th princess's question isn't difficult to answer, said Long Chen. He saw Xia Yanchong giving him a meaningful look, indicating he should give Xia Yaoluo face, or she'd immediately turn hostile. He said, if I accepted the 17th princess's invitation, the day of my death would have drawn near. I'm greedy for life, so I couldn't accept your invitation. Xia Yanchong was speechless. 
Long Chen hadn't understood his meaning? As expected, Xia Yao raged. I'm not that kind of unreasonable person. If I invited you as a guest, why would I kill you? Long Chen shook his head. You didn't understand my meaning. As soon as I entered the Grand Xia, I heard of the 17th Princess's outstanding beauty and peerless abilities. You have countless admirers, and some of them line up outside Grand Xia City just to see you. The line extends all the way to the Grand Han. This little one could not bear to be invited to see the princess alone. Those admirers would tear me to pieces. Hearing this, Xia Yaoluo immediately smiled like a blossoming flower. So that's what it was. He, then I'm happy. Tell me, outside what gate are they lined up at? She believed such nonsense? Long Chen saw that Xia Yaoluo was full of anticipation, and it didn't seem to be faked. All he had been doing was giving a disguised apology, so he had exaggerated it to make it a joke. Then everyone could make merry and move on. But this girl actually thought it was true. Long Chen, are there people from the Grand Han lining up as well? I wonder if he'll appear. Xia Yaoluo suddenly turned red, and her eyes became unfocused. She clutched her clothes, clearly nervous and uneasy. Long Chen was talking about something that happened a few months ago. Yaoluo, it's about time for you to go back. I have some things I need to discuss with Brother Long, interjected Xia Yanchang. Xia Yaoluo was a bit unwilling, but she was still shooed away by Xia Yanchang. Sorry, I've caused Brother Long to laugh. This little sister of mine still has a child's temperament. Sigh, she's simply been spoiled. After shooing off Xia Yaoluo, Xia Yanchang apologized to Long Chen. Long Chen shook his head. There's nothing to laugh about. I'm very envious of Brother Xia. I wish I could pamper my little sister as well. If she wants to act like a spoiled child, I would also let her. Seeing the sibling relationship between Xia Yanchang and Xia Yaoluo made Long Chen think of his own little sister. The time they had been together had been far too short. She had only just grown familiar with him before he had left. Perhaps she no longer had any memory of her big brother. Every time he thought of this, he would feel sentimental. Brother Long, come. The food and drink has already been prepared. There were all kinds of delicacies set up on a table. They looked like beautiful gems and smelled delicious. Long Chen almost couldn't bear to eat them. This is the wine god palace's fine wine. Brother Long, have a taste. Xia Yanchang handed Long Chen a cup full of wine. There wasn't the slightest fragrance coming from this cup. It looked like pure water. But the moment it entered his mouth, its fragrance exploded. Furthermore, some faint energy went through his teeth and up to his head. Long Chen instantly felt like his divine sense had grown sharper. This is practically divine wine. Capable of shaking the world. The wine is silent, like heaven and earth's tranquility, but it traverses the profundities of the world, allowing one to hear the profound music of the Grand Dao. Tasting this wine, he unconsciously said words that appeared in his heart without him even knowing it. This wine was too miraculous. The Winnemaker was definitely an expert. They had actually imparted their comprehension of the heavenly Daos into the wine. He was not exaggerating when he said that it was divine wine. Brother Long truly is a master of wine. With just a taste, you could comprehend the realm within it. With this kind of shocking comprehension, I must bring you to the wine god palace today. They'll definitely treat you well to gain your wisdom, exclaimed Xia Yanchang. The wine god palace had different names for all their wines, and all of them had their own realms. That was closely related to the abilities of the Winnemakers. But the wine god palace's people were all strange. Only they would know the name of the wine they made. They would send their wine to others to taste. If others could say the realm of the wine, they would bestow more wine upon them. Otherwise, not even a mountain of wealth could buy a single drop. They were a group of prideful artisans. They would only give their art to people who could appreciate it. Brother Long, let me offer you a cup. Xia Yanchang raised his cup, and Long Chen immediately touched his cup to his. They drained the cups in one gulp. This wine had to be drunk with small cups, or it would be an absolute waste. After a few cups had entered their stomachs, they became friendlier and almost started to feel like they regretted not having met each other earlier. Brother Long, I heard you killed Hans Henayu, asked Xia Yanchang. Chapter 1179 Imperial orders to pick up a girl translator. Born to be yes, I killed him. That brat really knew how to be a poser. Ah, Brother Xia, do you not quite know what that word means? Asked Long Chen. It would be normal for a refined prince to not know such crass language. Haha, <laughs> Brother Long. Are you looking down on me? When I reached the Xianchen realm, I was tossed out into the cultivation world to live on my own for two years. 
I'm not a greenhouse flower like you imagine. Let me tell you, I almost died three times in one year. No one was there to look after me. The last time was especially dangerous. I accidentally ended up entering one of the corrupt path strongholds and was attacked by countless experts. I had no support, but just by using my Xi'anchen realm cultivation base, I killed my way out of the corrupt experts. I slew over a thousand sea expansion experts and countless Xi'anchen experts. In the end, I put everything on the line in order to kill three foundation forging experts. After those two years, I returned to the Grand Xia. My imperial father looked through my tempering stone, which recorded my experiences over those two years, and arranged for me to apprentice myself to my current master. He is my master, as well as my Deo protector. He is the person I respect the most in my life, even more than my father. A respectful and worshipful expression appeared on Xia Yanchong's face when he spoke of his master. Your Deo protector? Could it be that brother Xia? You walk, the undefeatable Deo, asked Long Chen with shock. He had heard that only people who walked the undefeatable Deo had Deo protectors. Why are you so surprised? Don't you also cultivate the same Deo? Now it was Xia Yanchong's turn to be surprised. Me? How could I walk the undefeatable Deo? I just blindly muddled my way to my current level. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He had heard that those who walked the undefeatable Deo could never suffer a defeaturing in their life. Once they were defeated, their Deo heart would crumble, and they would be completely crippled. That was why those who walked the undefeatable Deo had to have a supreme expert as a Deo protector. The Deo protector's duty was to prevent powerful enemies from forcing a battle with the genius walking the undefeatable Deo. How could that be possible? When you fought the elder from the blood kill hall, the will that burst out of you was clearly an undefeatable will. This kind of pressure is identical to my own. I definitely can't be wrong. Xia Yanchong couldn't believe it. Ah, let's not fight over this problem. Let's keep drinking. Long Chen filled Xia Yanchong's cup. Brother Long, do you really not walk the undefeatable Dao? You've been defeated before. Xia Yanchong pressed him, wanting to figure out what was going on. Not only have I been defeated before, but I've also been beaten so many times I can't even keep track. There was even one expert a whole level stronger than me who once chased me down through the mountains like I was a dog. TCH. Let's not talk about this. It's embarrassing. Long Chen raised his cup. Xia Yanchong looked at Long Chen. He felt like Long Chen had no reason to lie to him. But he himself walked the undefeatable Dao. And that undefeatable will that came from the depths of Long Chen's bones and even the depths of his soul was something Xia Yanchong couldn't be wrong about. The two of them continued drinking. Seeing that Xia Yanchong was still troubled over this question, Long Chen laughed and decided to tell him about this past. He told him all about his cultivation journey, other than some private secrets like the primal chaos bead. He didn't hold back. Xia Yanchong learned about how miserable Long Chen's youth had been, how he had been humiliated and bullied. When he was 15, he had still only been at the third heaven stage of key condensation. In just a few years, he had grown to his current level. Xia Yanchong was full of admiration. So you really don't walk the undefeatable Dao, but within your endless trials, the more the world tries to obstruct you, the fiercer you become. Perhaps this is another kind of undefeatable Dao. Come, let me raise a cup to you in admiration. I, Xia Yanchong, have never admitted inferiority to anyone, but I admire your will which refuses to bend even in the face of countless setbacks, praised Xia Yanchong. Xia Yanchong had always treated his two years in the wilds fighting on the brink of life and death as the greatest pride of his life. But when he compared it to Long Chen's history, he felt embarrassed just to mention it. There was no way to compare them. From the struggles in the Phoenix Cry Empire, his rise in the Jiuli secret realm, his dominance over the eastern wastelands, and his various difficulties since reaching the central plains, he had experienced countless dangers. And each of those dangers had been like dancing on the tip of a blade. Long Chen had fought his way from being a poor noble son within the secular world to his current height. Everything he had, had been fought for with his life on the line. As for Xia Yanchong, although he had also put his life on the line, the majority of what he had was from having a powerful backer like the Grand Xia. So Xia Yanchong truly admired Long Chen. The two of them only grew friendlier as they drank. And in the end, they became close friends who could say anything to each other. Brother Long. You said the reason you came here is because you have friends in my grand Xia? Do you need me to look after them? Asked Xia Yanchong. Long Chen hesitated. I don't think that's a good idea. These friends of mine are a bit special. In truth, 
If Xia Yanchang could support the original devil race, then they would instantly soar to new heights. But that was far too dangerous. If the original devil race was one day exposed, then the Grand Xia would become the world's enemy. It might even be destroyed. Long Chen might be willing to do stupid things, but he wouldn't do such an immoral thing. Brother Xia, to tell you the truth, the reason I came here was because I was forced. I provoked a disaster this time, and I came here to avoid it. Will I end up causing you trouble? Asked Long Chen. What trouble? I've long since wanted to properly put the Grand Han's egomaniacs in their place. I've just never had a chance. As for the ancient races, although they are powerful, the ancient race alliance is not necessarily all like-minded. You only offended one race, so there's nothing to fear there. As for the Pill Tower, we have no relations with them due to their dispute with the Wine God Palace. Even without the Pill Tower's support, we can still cooperate with the Huaian sect furthermore. We have the Wine God Palace's support, so there's no need to care about them. Also, I suppose it's possible that you don't know this. After you left, your Zhuanchen Dao sect sect master gave those four powers a vicious slap in the face, and it was done within the Martial Heaven Alliance in front of countless experts. The sound of that slap, Xia Yanchang told Long Chen what news he had gathered. Long Chen hadn't realized that the huge trouble he had caused would be settled so easily by the Zhuan master. Then I can return to the Zhuanchen Dao sect whenever I want. Long Chen was delighted. Well, you can't leave too quickly. Since you've come to the Grand Xia, you must stay for a few more days. Otherwise, it would have been a waste to have run away. Ha ha ha. Here, drink. Laughed Xia Yanchang. He, there's food, there's drink, and there are fun things to do. Where else could I find such a great place? I'll just treat it as a little vacation to relax. Laughed Long Chen. Long Chen felt like he had always been working these past few years. More and more things kept popping up, and he had never had time to relax. His nerves had been tense all this time, and it was exhausting. He really did need to relax a bit. That would be beneficial to his cultivation. Brother Zaya, when I was joking with your sister, it seems she, now that they were friends, Long Chen could speak directly. He felt that at that time, there had been something odd with Zaya Yaoluo and anger had appeared in Xia Yanchang's eyes. I'm not afraid of you laughing at me, but just mentioning that infuriates me. That girl, although her cultivation base is powerful, her mind is simple. She has been affected by the worship of the idols from the Grand Han and has ended up infatuated with one of the Grand Han's three monarchs, Han Wenjin. Xia Yanchang had a belly full of anger upon saying this. Long Chen's expression became sluggish. He had guessed accurately. The Grand Han actually knew how to use beautiful men. If Xia Yaoluo really was seduced to the Grand Han by that Han Wenjin, it would be a huge slap in the face of the Grand Xia, and the Grand Han would have also snatched away an expert. That would be a grievous blow to the Grand Xia's morale. You haven't tried persuading her, asked Long Chen. Do you think she'd listen to my persuasion? She's extremely stubborn and refuses to listen to anyone, said Xia Yaoluo helplessly. Then what about your father? Him? HMPH, he only cares about the state. Although he hasn't said anything, I understand him. He does what's best for the nation. If Xia Yaoluo dares to marry Han Wenjin, my father will not hesitate to kill her before she can, said Xia Yanchang. He snorted furiously, clearly dissatisfied with his father. Really Long Chen jumped. Xia Yaoluo's father would be this vicious to her? You just don't understand. Xia Yanchang shook his head. All rulers must act like this. They have to put the interests of the state before themselves. Anyone can be sacrificed for the nation. Although I don't approve this kind of thing, I have no choice but to admit there's no other solution. The Grand Xia isn't just the imperial families. It belongs to each one of the civilians living within it, and we have a responsibility to each of them. Xia Yanchang was filled with helplessness toward this. He understood Xia Yaoluo the best. She was far too obstinate, and sometimes she would refuse to change her mind even if it meant death. That was what worried him. Long Chen, if you have a chance, I hope you can help me advise her. I really don't want to see the day when she dies to our father's butcher blade. Xia Yanchang looked at Long Chen with a pleading expression. Long Chen swore inside. I might be alright at picking up girls, but comforting and convincing one isn't my specialty. Furthermore, that girl is definitely a thorn rose. Although she is beautiful, not everyone can enjoy her. Long Chen didn't want to give himself another burden. He wanted to say he was powerless to do anything about this, but looking at Xia Yanchang's pleading expression, he was unable to bring himself to say it. Fine, I'll do my best. 
Long Chen could only thicken his skin with a bitter expression. He felt like he was getting more and more stupid. He had actually picked up another burden for himself. But if the positions were reversed, he would also not be able to just watch as his little sister jumped into someone else's trap. And the most difficult thing to accept was that the person who would want to kill his little sister would be his own father. That was an incredibly tragic thing. Many thanks, Brother Long. This little sister of mine rarely speaks with others, but she treats you differently. If she gets willful, just yield a bit to her and she'll quickly become your friend. Although she's willful and petty, she's kind inside and easily trusts others. Otherwise, she wouldn't have become so infatuated with that effeminate man, said Xia Yanchong with a bitter smile. The two of them continued drinking. Long Chen found that the wine god palace's wine was truly amazing. Although his cultivation base wasn't growing, his mental realm was growing more tranquil and clearly rising. He even felt like his fiery temper was being changed. They drank all the way until the sky brightened once more. The sky had only just brightened when Xia Yaoluo ran in. Yaoluo, you're right on time. Bring Brother Long for a trip to the Wine God Palace. Xia Yanchong cast a special glance at Long Chen. Chapter 1180 Uncle Long Translator Born to be Long Chen Is what you said yesterday true? Xia Yaoluo looked at Long Chen with excitement. She was talking about how the line of her admirers stretched all the way back to the Grand Han. It's possibly true. I heard two blind people gesturing toward a map with two deaf people on my way to the capital. That's when I heard that story, said Long Chen helplessly. Seeing Xia Yaoluo's thoughts seemed to wander away, Long Chen grumbled inside. He had to constantly worry about her discussing that story with him. At this time, Long Chen and Xia Yaoluo were walking toward the Wine God Palace. They had a large mass of guards following them. Quite a few youngsters were looking over at Xia Yaoluo with adoring expressions. Xia Yaoluo was a goddess amongst the Grand Xia's civilians. Countless youngsters worshipped her. However, the Grand Xia's youngsters tended to be very reserved with their emotions, and they only looked at her from a distance. They didn't dare to come forward and pay their respects to her. As for Long Chen, he looked incredibly sloppy in comparison, without the slightest air of the imperial family. He looked like a loafer without the slightest care. He was looking left and right, admiring the historical sites located all over the city. Sometimes when Xia Yaoluo was pressing him, he would intentionally exclaim in admiration over a certain building's magnificence, and then ask the guards about the building's history. He managed to change the subject like this over and over again. But Xia Yaoluo was like a child, and despite how obviously Long Chen was trying to avoid this subject, she still couldn't sense it. Seeing Long Chen constantly changing the subject, she raged. Long Chen, I've asked you so many times, but you refuse to give me an answer. Do you have any manners at all? Long Chen was speechless. Just who didn't have any manners? He clearly didn't want to reply, but she continued to press him. How was that reasonable? Xia Yanchong had told Xia Yaoluo to bring Long Chen to the Wine God Palace. But as a result, as soon as they left the door, Xia Yaoluo began pressing Long Chen for information. When she wasn't asking about the line of admirers, she asked about the Grand Han. Princess, please spare me. I really don't know anything about the Grand Han. How am I supposed to answer you? Long Chen bitterly smiled. Liar. You killed one of the Grand Han's eight princes. Hans Henayu. Having become enemies with the Grand Han, didn't you come to my Grand Xia just to take refuge? Raged Xia Yaoluo. Long Chen's expression suddenly sank. He coldly looked at Xia Yaoluo. Respected princess, there are a few things I should make clear. First, I really don't know about the Grand Han, and I don't want to talk about it. Second, the reason I have come to the Grand Xia is not because I'm taking refuge. I always face my battles, and my path from the eastern wasteland to the central plains was built through my enemy's bones. I've never asked for anyone's protection. It hasn't happened in the past, it isn't happening now, and it won't happen in the future. Third, when you speak to me, take note of your words. Although you are a princess, don't think others need to give you whatever you want just because of your status or beauty. Fourth, don't be so arrogant, because your arrogance has no power backing it. If it weren't for the Grand Xia's upbringing, then no matter how good your talent, you would never have had your current accomplishments. Everything you have was bestowed by your father, your mother, your brothers, and the Grand Xia's people. Can you tell me a single thing that you have achieved with your own power? Just where does your pride and confidence come from? Long Chen had been enduring this the entire time. Because Xia Yanchong had entrusted him with this mission, 
Long Chen had exercised patience with Xia Yaoluo's rude questions. As he endured, he repeatedly told himself that she was just a child and that he couldn't treat her like an adult. But it seemed like she never used her head before speaking, and she didn't care about other people's feelings. Hence, he finally exploded. Xia Yaoluo's expression sank and she raged. You are provoking me. Don't say such a senseless thing. I stopped playing with such words in my youth. The people who have said such things to me have long since been buried. Although your cultivation base and power might be greater than mine, if we were to truly fight to the death, the one to die would definitely be you. Long Chen suddenly stopped walking and stared at Xia Yaoluo icily, his eyes revealing his confidence. He wasn't trying to intimidate Xia Yaoluo. He felt like her confidence had inflated after killing the Blood Kill Hall soul transformation expert, but there had been many special factors that had allowed her to kill him, which were not based on her own power. The Blood Kill Hall's people didn't specialize in fighting head-on, they specialized in assassinations and escaping arts. It was because of Long Chen that the Blood Kill Hall expert had given up on running, as he was too enticed by the thought of killing Long Chen. Then he had ignited too much of his Yuan spirit and his consciousness had grown muddled. He had actually forgotten about Long Chen and launched an attack on Xia Yaoluo who had been preparing one of her ultimate moves. If she had fought another soul transformation expert, she would be in danger of being killed in one blow. You, Xia Yaoluo's hand gripped her sword, and her aura began to condense. All the guards behind them were shocked. Just what was going on? How could she want to start fighting without a word? These guards were Xia Yanchong's people. Xia Yaoluo was Xia Yanchong's little sister while Long Chen was Xia Yanchong's precious guest. If these two fought, they wouldn't even know who to help. You aren't my match. In a life and death battle, I would definitely take your life within three moves. If I can't, I, Long Chen, will immediately kill myself in front of Grand Xia City. Long Chen clasped his hands behind his back, his voice icy and emotionless. The previously smiling Long Chen, who looked like a big brother, had instantly become a merciless death god. Xia Yaoluo's heart was swamped with terror as she looked at Long Chen's eyes. She seemed to be able to see a boundless mountain of corpses and sea of blood within the depths of those eyes. This was Long Chen's killing intent that was normally hidden in his heart. It was accumulated from countless huge battles. Now, he was no longer hiding it, allowing Xia Yaoluo to see it. Xia Yaoluo had grown up in the Imperial Palace and spent most of her time cultivating. Although she was powerful, her experience was pitifully low. She couldn't possibly compare to someone like Long Chen who had crawled his way out of a pile of corpses. She trembled, her face pale. Long Chen's mouth curled and he said, Put away that move you used against your big brother. I've already said that not everybody has to pamper you. At the very least, I won't. I'm going to the Wine God Palace. You can go back. Long Chen turned and continued onward. Xia Yaoluo stood there blankly for a long moment. She wanted to cry yet didn't dare to. She didn't know what to do. She suddenly clenched her teeth, wiped away the tears in the corners of her eyes, and chased after Long Chen. Why are you following me? Long Chen frowned. Who would follow you? This is my Grand Xia city, and I am the Grand Xia's princess. This is my home, and I can go wherever I want. Does it have anything to do with you? Snorted Xia Yaoluo. In truth, Xia Yaoluo had been terrified just now, and she felt that leaving like this or going back to complain would cause her to lose face as well as make her seem cowardly. In order to express her bravery, she was intentionally going along with Long Chen. Long Chen glanced at her, seeing Xia Yaoluo glaring at him. He didn't say a word. He simply continued onward, with Xia Yaoluo following beside him. Those guards all sighed with relief. As long as they didn't fight, it was fine. They hastily followed behind them. Just as they left, a middle-aged man in ashen robes followed them with his eyes from a tea parlor. He had sword-like eyebrows and bright eyes, along with his square nose. His face looked like it had been carved with a blade. He was extremely imposing. This Long Chen is fierce and domineering. He's quite the fearless character. The middle-aged man nodded with a hint of praise. He was none other than the Grand Xia's current emperor, Xia Yaoluo and Xia Yanchong's father, the person with the greatest authority within the entire Grand Xia ancient nation. Beside him was a white-haired elder, Xia Yanchong's master. His eyes were closed and his expression was indifferent. Do you see anything special about him? Asked the white-haired man. He is not in agreement with the heavenly deos. He clashes with the laws of the world. Just now when he released his killing intent, I could see just how bloody and painful his path has been. That killing light in his eyes is decisive and firm. 
while his spiritual fluctuations make him appear to be a person who makes meaningful relationships. That's definitely not the appearance of a heaven Caesar. The heavenly fate pavilion was intentionally inverting right and wrong, said the middle-aged man. Chang'er chatted with him last night. The two of them ended up close and trusting each other. Chang'er has entrusted Yao Luo to Long Chen, hoping he can save her life, said the elder. The middle-aged man looked at the street. A calm but sad expression appeared in his eyes. Her fate was set a long time ago. The tribulation of her life has come, and she will definitely betray my grand Zaya. If I don't kill her, the grand Zaya will end up in upheaval. While the fate decreed by the heavens cannot be violated and cultivators must comply with the heavenly deos, the laws of heaven and earth are too profound to comprehend. Even if you comply with the heavenly deos, you won't necessarily have a good end. But there is one kind of person that is an exception. Anyone who is infected by such a person's karma will have their fate change. However, whether it is a blessing or misfortune is hard to say, said the white-haired elder. You're talking about, the middle-aged man's expression changed. The twists of fate are not easily exposed. As long as you know this inside, as the ruler of the Grand Zaya, you should know what to do, said the white-haired elder profoundly. The middle-aged man was silent for a long time before he nodded. I understand. Long Chen, I'm 18. How old are you? As Long Chen advanced silently, Xia Yaoluo seemed to forget her previous unhappiness and took the initiative to speak to Long Chen. 22, said Long Chen without overthinking it. Ah, then you're already really old, exclaimed Xia Yaoluo. Long Chen almost stumbled. He corrected. The word is mature. Novaloon.com he, you're this much older than me. How about I call you Uncle Long? Laughed Xia Yaoluo. Long Chen instantly understood she was getting revenge. He irritably said, your brother is already 27. If you call me uncle, wouldn't you have to call him grandpa? That's not the same. We're real brother and sister, so it's not calculated by age. Uncle Long, you look really young for your age, said Xia Yaoluo. Hmm, that's not bad. When I see your father, I can directly call him big brother. Long Chen wasn't afraid of playing such a game with her. Oh, we've arrived. Long Chen suddenly saw a tall and simple construction.